this to me. Why? Because you know I'm a big Van Halen fan. You know I'm a big Van Halen fan, except for this jump shit. <laughs> really? You, know you don't like it? Oh, dude. Come on, man. I how like can that, it. How can that fuck with some of the old stuff? This dude, when I used to play Running with the Devil. This is the beginning of the end, John. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. When I was a kid and I was playing pinball and I'd hear that shit, I was like, got to play a little harder, bro. Use your fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, man. Got to yeah, go a little what, harder. What was the one rocking album they had before that that really fucking made them? What was what was the one before? All right, that? they had one, two, women, women and children, children first. first. That was, was it. It was Cactus. No, that was Cactus. Really? The baddest motherfucking album they released with the one with Mean Streets on it. Yes, yes. That's the one right mean there. Mean Streets. God it's damn. Got mean Brian, Streets. Chew that shit up. Chew that shit up. It's got fucking. What uh, else? What else? And I've been tied and convicted of winner take all. I want to run for my money. <laughs> that's all. Well, I think that's on there. No, there's, there's a couple hits. There's a couple wanna. other ones that I know of. Dun, 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 what dun, else? The one about the X-rated chick. About the, she was like uh, it was teacher. Like, was that why? I, not I Hoffa it, teacher. One. No, that was on eighty four. That was on nineteen eighty four. That's a, you know, I whacked off the fucking half a teacher one time. The video, the, fuck really? yeah, sure, because I had nothing else in those days. Once the TV shut off, it shut off. You Our tech guy just out. left. We can't hear no no fucking jump. Yeah, he, he just, just abandoned ship. Sounds happened. like there's so a talk going on. What are you a fucking orphan? Get in here, cocksucker. Get Does in anybody here, know cocks. how to work Brian's controls? I sure I could, but I just <coughs> nah, I don't want to press something that says uh, you know meltdown or some shit yeah, like nah, that. We're all right. Did Sam Brian Tripoli sneak off? Good. Did he sneak off for some fucking pre show nookie? Maybe, did just, dude. Did he just go to get some while we were all they here? Just read him the blatantly abandoned us. Or the rabbit died. The, that's a conversation. Oh, it's either Christ. pussy or the fucking you rabbit. You know died. that's a myth. Did you know that's a myth? Yeah. It's not a rabbit dying that doesn't show that you're pregnant. Did you know that? I thought it did. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Where'd that come from? I don't know. I mean, they, 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 they used to do things to rabbits, but I don't think the rabbit died. I think that's what I read. I, I wish Brian was here so we could have him research it. So yeah. we write down. Write we need down some Google shit. Rabbit test, and we're going to come back. And I'm pretty sure with my faulty memory and excessive use look of marijuana who's back. this evening. Oh, look who's back. Hey, Brian, look up the rabbit test and find out if that shit Brian, you were putting real. on Mean Streets. Forget the fucking rabbit. He yeah. was put on Mean Streets. <laughs> How did we go from the year of the rabbit? That was what two else years is, ago. Uh, what else is in that album? <laughs> uh, the one video. that Remember the big, big video on MTV? Something wrong with your mic. The yeah, big, it's going sideways. The big video on MTV. It's gangster. He, yeah, he's been watching too many hip hop videos. Nobody, nobody remembers the big video on MTV was if this is Love Live. Da -da -da -da. He's come up with the bottle of jack and shit with the fucking ruffle pants right here coming at you. Well, my baby's on the corner and I'm looking so fine. Oh, yeah. And one on one together and we oh, blow my mind. mind. Man needs love to live. I'm the living proof. Are you fucking kidding me? Man oh. needs love to live. And I'm the living fucking proof. That guy <laughs> slung more fucking dick. The best saying he ever had was at the MTV Music Awards 84. He was sitting there with six blondes next to him and eight online to suck his dick. And MTV put a camera on him, like bust him in the hallway, and they go, Dave, what's happening? He goes, life is a kung fu movie. And he just disappeared with three fucking blondes. <laughs> that was it. Life is a kung fu movie. Oh, that's and you awesome. know with that. And then he remember he got started taking the swords out. Once he started taking the swords out and doing the forms on stage, it was all over. Yeah, the whenever Dave. they start bringing weapons on stage, yeah, shit it's all goes over bad. The shouting, Dave. You, you're fucking killing me, Dave. Dave's <laughs> awesome, man. When I met him uh, at the comedy store, that was one of the, the first starstruck Dave's moments. Dave's a good fucking dude. I ever man. had. That's why I, I didn't know he was there. Luckily, I didn't know he was there while I was doing my set, or I would have fucking probably panicked and tailspinned. Because uh, uh, Gene Simmons came to see me one night at the Improv, and I, I, I got nervous, dude. I totally got he nervous. He came and see me, saw me one time, too, at this place called, not Largo, I forget what the other, it was on Robinson, and uh, I got done with my say. He goes, do you do that set all the time? I go, yeah. He goes, you're a sick fuck. <laughs> and I go, thank you. Gene Simmons called you a sick fuck. Yeah. His son's cool as fuck, man. His son uh, got a hold of one of my CDs, and then uh, came, Shiny Happy Jihad. And then came to see us uh, at the Improv on New Year's. On New Year's. That was cool. It was, it was weird. Nice. His daughter's hot. His, yeah. Everyone's so tall. I'm such a midget troll. She's going to be a fucking I'm so, I'm so built like a chimp. And I'm standing around all them. They're all like six foot three, six foot four. I'm like, hey, hi. Can I hug your stomach? You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're going in for hugs and took pictures. Nice so. belt buckle. Yeah. He's a big dude. So is his wife. He is a tall dude, man. He's a character, man. That's a fucking you're character. <clears throat> you're probably up pretty soon, Sam. 
So are you saying I should get off? Is that where you're going? We need yeah. some sort of a sophisticated sound system well, that alerts us, like a red light that goes on. That's what we or need. Or just a timer. You know what we need, man? We need a wrestling timer like we have at Legends. Legends Mixed Martial Arts in Hollywood. Bing, 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 Come bing, check bing. us out. Come see us. There's a jiu-jitsu uh, strip poles. Yeah, whatever the fuck yeah they, uh, we have uh, strip dancing. Uh, or they teach girls how to pole dance. Where is Legends in the now? Morning. Legends it's is on Santa, Santa Monica. Monica. Deep, deep. It's in like... Uh, in between Vermont... And uh, and uh, Western. Yeah, just past the 101. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Joey, nice if you're going to do any singing, save it for when I get back. You got a dog for I'll you. I'll take that way. over what that shit they were playing on the emergency broadcasting system all day. That was just some horrid what? fucking. Did you listen to that? Emergency broadcasting Yeah, they did a national one. You know, instead of like when you're like oh, late night, they're like, beep. Well, they did. They did one on a national level, and they just played Jack FM, and it was oh. the worst. Oh, my baby's on the corner, and she's looking so, so fine. fine. I'll take that shit. And blow my mind. I'll Man, these love to live. live. And I'm the Dog, I heard group. something fucking <laughs> crazy this morning. Something that I've been listening to that album for 25 years, and I never fucking caught. Dog, what? I listened to. I was I was running around North Hollywood. I listened to Animals by Pink Floyd, but I listened to. Sheep Part Two, which in that album they break up civilization into three types of people: dogs, sheep, and pigs. Really? And one of the fucking lines in that was so amazing. Everybody knows a dog needs a bone. While well, watch, I forget what the fuck that they. I had to play it four or five times. I was so blown the fuck away. But who gives a fuck? Felicia Michaels is in the house, looking better than ever and shit. You're with, so sweet. With a cosmopolitan and they're getting ready to rock the fucking house already. You, you going, sure you had a set? You yeah. went up there. Yeah, was it? it's a great crowd. It's yeah. a great yeah. fucking crowd, yeah. bro. They were yeah. live and Good kicking crowd. on a Thursday night. UFC week in Anaheim, yeah. California. People are losing their Sh fucking minds. You Sh understand? Sam, I got fitted for clothes today. I, I had to go it. and get real you adult did? clothes. I had to go to a tailor and get pants. I, I hope you got your asshole I'm covered. I'm Fox now. I can't wow. wear this. Because Ron Lesson is sitting next to you and he heard the fucking joke. He might just he get likes a joke. Lock and He's butt fuck you out of purposely. You know what I'm saying? Just to see. What do you think of this whole butt fucking scandal going on? In Penn State? Is that the saddest fucking that thing? That is crazy. It's like a scene in a That's fucking crazy. movie. It is like an over-the-top scene in a movie. It really is. Now, I don't know all the facts because I, don't I just stopped. But I heard something today with a guy that seen it ran and called his dad. Like he ran out of the yeah. bathroom and called his dad. But then the other guy went and told Coach Paterno. They protected Paterno this guy, passed it on man. to somebody from the university. And it's, uh, it's a very disturbing situation. I haven't digested it. When something's that So disturbing. was it kids, like football camp? Like I'm, you told stories on the podcast about football, football yeah. camp. Is that what kind of no, happened? I didn't know exactly what it was that particular. I went to football camp. But I went when they were away from the school. You know, it's funny because the guy I went to his camp was from Penn State, which was Jack Lambert. Is it offline, Brian? Mm -mm. What's that video back there? Mm, it just hasn't been refreshed. You know, Joe and I were talking on the drive here how, listen, man, you know, they call me a criminal, but you took somebody's <laughs> trust. When you take somebody's fucking trust and turn it over and stick a finger up somebody's ass, it's a complete different type of criminal. It really yeah. is. It puts you in a different league. I'm not justifying anybody, but it's a, a very crazy week. Yeah, it's just it's a very it seems crazy like week. it's too over the top it's for surreal. a movie. It's very for surreal. a movie. Yeah, you, you would can't be like, write this kind of stuff. You'd be like, wait a minute, the guy was banging little kids in the ass for ten years or twenty years, whatever it was, and nobody knew about it. Really, I really, don't, I don't understand why they didn't just. You know, get rid of that guy and pay people off, and then so what? Well, you that's know what I it's mean? creepier that's than crazy. that. It's creepier than that. The DA that was investigating him turns up missing in 2005. His fucking laptop winds up without a hard drive in the river. His car's parked in a parking lot, and they never find him again. This is 2005. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of money behind that fucking the Nittany Lions. There's a lot of yeah. money behind football, college football. You're talking about that Paterno guy was paid $1.5 million a year. I don't know how much the assistant coach was paid, but if it was half that, that's a man with a lot of money Shit, at his and hands. And that's in Pennsylvania. If you want to get, you don't want, yeah, you want to get rid of a problem, and you got a couple hundred thousand dollars, you can make some shit happen. Yeah. You know, and if if you've been steady fucking kids for twenty years, you might be motivated to throw some 
money towards the way of someone's going to fucking kill the only guy who knows for sure that you did this. Wow. Or the guy's wow. investigating you. So this, this fucking DA has disappeared. He's been disappeared since 2005. I wow. explain to Joe all the time that the UFC is a 17, 18,000 people, 20,000 screaming people. Dana White pulls one solid one, and then the other one is, you know, packed or whatever. College football does that nine or ten weeks of the year. Mm. 80,000 people screaming, but it's not that. It's the center of this country. It's the boosters. It's the boosters. It's people who go, you know what, I'll give that school a hundred thousand fucking dollars. And you have 200 people that do that. The last thing they want is their fucking school disgrace. This is everything. Yeah, this, this is, is everything to some people. These they're kids whole, are riding in the streets. They're flipping over cars. They, they know that this yeah. guy was a big part of their key to winning. This 82-year-old mother, was that what he was? 82? 80 82, 80-plus-year-old 80 80 man was a bad motherfucker. He was obviously a bad motherfucker. And they, they knew that without that guy, you know, fuck, like everything is in turmoil now. Yeah. The fact that the fucking assistant coach was a pedo for 20 well, years. But that's what I don't understand, the assistant coach. Yeah. Like, like, what? I just don't Do understand. Do you know the story behind how he got caught? so horrifying i just know that one guy saw it and squealed well he went backstage or he went to the uh, locker room to get something and he heard him like slapping in the back like, eh, eh, eh. and he goes in and he sees this guy banging a 10 year old in the ass that's just crazy yeah and there's a lot there's not one there's a bunch of them a bunch of kids yeah. and he would take these kids on trips and buy them things and shit allegedly but it's 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 nuts it's nuts that they could claim that they didn't know this guy was doing this. I mean, this is a sick, sick, sick thing. Yeah, how can he not? How, how can it, people not know? Yeah, how could yeah. they not know? It's bizarre. It's beyond bizarre. Yeah. This is a disaster. This is horrific, you know? And the, in the, what's with the kid? He's probably like, what, 20 now or something? Who knows? Or I don't know. It's yeah. terrifying. Yeah, yeah. imagine that kid. How many that kids kid? that he banged that didn't say anything? Yeah, to, to, just yeah. Kept it they're inside all in just deep water. They're all fucked. If it turns out that there's just one genius pedo that was just a great football coach but a crazy pedo and they kept him around just because he was really good at football. That's wow, terrible, that's yeah. insane. You risk these kids' lives the rest of their life and some old man inside their asshole haunting them every night while they try to get some sleep. Over and over again. Uh. Think about this old man coming in their asshole. Fuck. And just because he's good at football? Wow, man. Really? That's amazing. That's amazing that some people will still roll like well, that. I heard but pieces. Then, I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. go ahead. You go ahead. No, I just heard pieces that Sandusky went crazy after he realized he wouldn't be the head coach. Yeah, so he told them. Paterno 99. told them that he wouldn't be the head coach, and then he resigned. But it didn't matter. He'd be banging kids the entire time. They said he started banging kids in the 90s. But if he's doing that, no football players ever caught him. Only oh, one no. another maybe, coach. Maybe like, he's just how do they clever not know? About it. There was a fucking player on maybe ESPN. Maybe he was an inside from Penn State that was fucking crying. Matt Millen was on national oh. television fucking crying with his head down. This big six foot four fucking guy is crying oh. on television because that's his alma mater. And oh. He couldn't fucking believe it. It's devastating. It. You he know, they're so proud. It. He couldn't believe it, bro. You he know, when people crazy. invest a lot in a football team or in an in alma mater and they get you know attached to their college, that's a huge source of pride for them. When something like this happens, you know, say if you're, you're a Penn State guy and your buddy's a fucking uh, University of California guy and back and forth you guys are talking shit to each other all the time and then all of a sudden your guy gets caught banging kids or how at much, least protecting someone that bangs kids. How much money actually comes into Penn State oh, for football? Stupid God. amounts. They pay this coach stupid a million amounts. and a half a year. So that must be Paterno amounts. got a million and a half a year. Think of that. That's like sitcom money for yeah. like a successful show. Your you know, that's like you, you're a, a star on television, yeah. you know. I, the world of college football is very lucrative for the top, top, top coaches. But I, I saw on TV where someone was saying, because he had done a counter thing where he was saying, I'll just finish out the season and then resign. Yeah. Like, the, he just doesn't understand yeah, like how you're what? horrific it yeah. is, you know. like. But meanwhile, they're more than willing to let him finish. The, the, the school people, the people in the, they're rioting because they're upset that he's fired. Yeah. I mean, th I mean, they, they didn't even look at the facts. They just can't believe that he's fired. And even though it's pretty obvious that he had to have known something was he up. He had to have He known. had to have known something was up. Look, if somebody comes to me and they tell me that one of my friends is banging little kids in the ass, that becomes a primary focus of my life for a little bit. Yeah. For a little bit, I'm like, what? 
If I really let someone into my circle of life that wants to fuck little kids all the time, like, could you imagine if you just found that out? Imagine if you had like some guy who was like living right next door to you, who was your buddy. You'd go for coffee with him, and then you you know you hear slapping next door, and you find out that it was him banging little kids in the ass. Yeah. Ima- imagine the disconnect. You would, you would, you would. Well, it's so horrific you can't even imagine. Yeah. Like in my family, there is my grandfather molested, and my uncle molested a lot of people, <sighs> and my father never knew. Like my father, and then when one of my cousins told my father, he was like, well, "Are you kidding?" Everyone oh. disowned the cut because yeah. pe- people just won't even They're believe denial. it. They're in we denial. We talked about it in the previous podcast because I have a friend, and her and her sister and her um ne- or nieces were all molested by her uncle. They turned him in, and the guy wound up going. To jail and the family turned on them the yeah. family turned on the daughters and, the, and the, the nieces and said that they couldn't all be telling the truth that it was a lie yeah yeah it's horrific and the guy did it for years and years and years you know yeah. the story of this that's really intriguing it's is crazy the nuclear this the square root of this is as americans as a society we turn off our eyes and our face to whatever the fuck we want to turn yeah. to you think this is the first guy this coach that has this problem no, uh, Michael Jackson did it for years. Yeah, this week at the courthouse, there's people jumping up and fucking down. He wrote a check. I'm not opening up a door here or, yeah. or sore for somebody, but you know they give you a fact like this. The guy pays a twenty million dollar check to a kid ten years ago. They got the check, and there's people that still walk around and say uh, Michael Jackson didn't molest anybody. It happens with Michael Vick. We 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 see what we want to see. And we don't see what we don't want to see. And then we forgive quickly. You know, f- 10 years ago, five years ago, everybody fucking hated Michael Vick. This week I is still, the NFL, NFL Player of the Week. I still can't you know, hang with that. Uh, uh, look, look at the Michael Jackson thing. I mean, we knew it. And people would still take their kids to his fucking house. He got put on trial two or three fucking times. People still went up there with their fucking kids to Never Never Land. But there's still a difference because even with the Michael Jackson thing, like you... Okay, you believe it because it's entertainment, because it's wild, and because he's Michael Jackson, he looks a little fair, whatever. But the football thing, you think that's that's fucking America? That's How incredible. did that happen? Incredible, impossible. With, yeah, you don't. This think guy was that's one of the best happen- coaches Crazy in the is. world, yeah. and the other guy was one of the best assistant coaches. And somehow or another, one of them was fucking kids, and the other one didn't know about it. There's How no is that way. even possible? And that's not the only report they got. Like I said, guys, there's a cover up here. And even if Paterno put his head down and shook and took his glasses off and wiped them and goes, what's my next move here? Somebody didn't do the fucking job that was paid to do. He's supposed to step up. Obligation. He's supposed to step up and, and contact the police. And that's it. Period. Yeah, that's End it. of discussion. You know, this guy ran a charity for children. All the, the, the red flags were there. He ran this charity where he had like, this house and kids were always coming over. And he was using it to like fuck all these kids. You know, yeah. it's it's yeah. horrific. But when you you know when you hear like shit like that, and you, you know, he, he had to have known something was going on over twenty years. The guy was taking kids on the road with him, taking kids on the road, and they'd stay with him in hotels. Like Jesus. Yeah. And here's my what point the right fuck, here man? That's so crazy. So crazy. Plain and fucking simple, people. When I turned myself in on that kidnapping thing, I told him I wasn't involved, and they, and it came down to one thing: Did you have knowledge of the crime? Yes. Yes, I did. It doesn't matter if you were 10 miles away. It doesn't matter if you were on fucking Mars picking up rocks. Christina P. in the place Hi, to be. You have Paula. Knowledge. knowledge is knowledge. Knowledge well, is a crime. Mrs. You're Segura, right. you're a woman of mystery. Look at the... You're bad, Mrs. Segura. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. What, why are, you, why are yeah. you insisting with this crazy last name when you're married to our friend Tom I know. Segura? Well, I've why don't been... you just become Mrs. Segura? What's your last name now? It's Pajitsky. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you gotta get rid of that. Get the fuck out of here, yeah, yeah, out of here Arnold Schwarzenegger. Listen, they they can't my... deal with pierogies, they can't <laughs> deal. You know what I'm saying? Meager is my shitty career. Oh, thank you. And comedy is. It's always been as Pajitsky. So I feel like it's, it's kind of late to, Listen. to change Listen. lanes. Listen, no, bullshit. Everybody will accept you. You think, what if I Remember when Roseanne Barr just became <gasps> Roseanne? Only yeah. Roseanne? Yeah. We went with it, right? Yeah. Wait, can I, can I go back to this Paterno thing? Take I can't, I'm drinking. Oh, this is better you know, for you. No, I get real weird. I can I'm, only smoke pot alone. Oh. I isolate and then I go into We're a We're such close quest. friends. <laughs> it's all just like being alone. Um, can I say something about that Paterno guy? No Don't what? you feel like... I feel like the reason he overlooked or, or turned the other way is because he's like an old school guy. Who doesn't think it's that bad for kids to get fucked? Like, can't you see him Whoa. being like, "Wow, no. No, I'm saying, can't no, you see him I, the I, generation I, who's like, ah, so what if like there isn't the psychology 
back then to be like, look, you can't fucking do this because down the no, road it no, tortures no. someone's psyche and this and that. Like he might just be from. I'm not excusing no, it, but I'm I saying don't like think that's what. Happened. You don't think he's one of these guys? Like yeah, big fucking deal. But here's no, the thing: if you're no, no. if you're a woman and and here's the thing from a woman's point of view, yeah. like it's a horrible, horrible oh, thing sure. by far. But as women, like this is we grew up with this kind of happening around us, and it's kind of like. You know, you grew up with this happening around mean? us. Well, like when I remember being a kid and in uh, fourth or fifth grade, everybody knew there's this one girl named Helen and her father was molesting her and having uh. sex with her. Oh, Everyone fucking knew. God. Everyone right. knew. But you know what's sick? Growing up as a little girl is I, because my father wasn't that in my life, I remember thinking, God, at least your dad likes you. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. But that's, that's Did you ever say that on stage? No, no. <laughs> Listen, I just found your closer, honey. By the way, that's Felicia Michaels. Uh, we didn't even say so who everybody funny. is here. I, this is Felicia Michaels that's talking. I don't mean Joey to Diaz make light, you know. We're here. This is the first time we've ever done this at the Ice House where we're just fucking around in between shows. So we got to remember to say people's names when they come and sit down. So Felicia okay. Michaels in the house, part of uh, the two-part ensemble of Beauty and the Beast, yeah. D A B E A S T, cause stay straight. Christina P, the place to be. <laughs> what up? Yeah, I think girls are much more aware of uh, molestation, obviously, than, or, than or guys well. are. Guys have their head in the yeah. sand unless they have a daughter that gets touched by yeah. an uncle. Yeah. You but, know? you know, because I feel like everybody I grew up with, so many girls, like, you're almost lucky to get out of adolescence and childhood. Oh, absolutely. And not get molested. Yeah, man. Like, I, I grew up in absolutely. the San Fernando Valley, and by the time I was, like, 11, <sighs> I had, like gardeners whistling at me and shit and i'm like man i don't even have titties and you guys are Ugh. it just starts so early especially if you're blonde and you're like kind of white and cute it just it's fucking pervasive and you have to like it sucks that you have to deflect that energy early <sighs> yeah well those poor those poor boys that's all i gotta say poor oh. boys yeah oh. Poor boys. oh it's horrific unimaginable yeah it's the whole thing is horrific the fact that it's going to be public now and that you know that all these people well for sure there's, it's going to come out that people knew there's, oh, there's yeah. no way around that yeah, there's going to be a bunch not. of people that were aware and they're yeah. gonna they're gonna have to deal with the shame of that that they didn't protect these children would you anybody ever try to molest you joe rogan yes twice okay. twice anybody in my life Christine, i got I lucky man no. twice no, I was lucky. I Felicia never Michaels have. Michael's never been trying to molest you. My grandfather tried to molest me in his trailer underneath the uh, swamp cooler. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. How, what a courtship. How old were you? How old were you? <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> yeah. That's under the swamp cooler. Uh, I must have been like. I was really young. I, I was so. I was really young. I didn't understand what was going on. He tried to finger me. I didn't understand. Oh, oh no. yeah. Shit. Did you even know what fingering was? You like know what? I was all like, I must have been like like five or six because I was all like, this oh is my goofy. God. And then it because it happened in the hallway, and then I was in, and then he kind of pushed me in the bathroom. But he was really because I my Ugh. my grandparents had like ten kids, and my father was number ten, oh. and so he was really old at that time. But I had older cousins where they were very much affected by it and but so he just molested everybody it wasn't it was him and then i had an uncle and i feel i can talk about it because he just passed away uh oh. that he uh did it too and oh, it was God. a big family secret and no one believed any of the girls it was a big oh family God. secret oh God. but i mean it it you know, I was able to run away from him because he was pretty. He was like 85, 85 fucking years old and trying to finger bang. Oh, my like God, that's, dude. That's crazy. Oh, but, so that's all he would do, try to finger bang him? Would he well, try to fuck him? I don't know what happened necessarily with my cousins, but I, I from that uh, experience, I can smell it on a dude. You oh. know? Can you really? Yeah, like you can there's, smell it there's when you know There's a couple of uncles that I was stayed away from, and then when I was older, mm. I had an, uh, younger cousins who or second cousins that were younger, and they were like, yeah, that dude was uncool. But then the cool thing is everyone, How could you everyone's smell like, it? your dad's cool. How yeah. can you, what, what do you I say? Mean, when I see, say smell it, I can just right. tell when a dude when is When someone's not, off? Yeah, when someone's off, you know? When someone's <sighs> off, you can tell. I feel that yeah. energy. Yeah. Women sense your your energy if it's too aggressive sexually or weird beard or, you know. Not, yeah, you know what's up. Yeah, yeah, not paying attention to how the other person's responding. Yeah. Yeah. Just with an agenda. You know, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I don't terrifying. Mind, I don't mind an agenda. <laughs> yeah. Well, a dangerous but one though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's crazy. Yeah. When yeah. I was in the eighth grade, I, it was a snowy night, 
and I was playing basketball for St. Michael CYL. And like an idiot, I had a basketball with me. There was three feet of fucking snow. But I took a basketball with me to the gym, even though the gym had a bunch of balls there. So I played, and I went back on Kennedy Boulevard, and there was no buses. And some guy just pulled up, and he goes, you going up? And I'm like, yeah. You know, I was 13. I didn't even know about that world. And I sit in the car, and all of a sudden, by my fucking house, coming up, I had the ball between my legs. And he goes, hey, that's a nice ball. And he touched my fucking <laughs> dick. But I was at the light already, and I looked at him, and I didn't know what to do. And all of a sudden, it was like, there you go. It was God was right there. The fucking door opened on the car. Just open. I didn't even have to touch it or nothing. Just open. And I go, here is one. I'll give you a ride down the hill. And I just ran out of there and ran down the hill. Mm. And he chased me a little bit. But I went into Schutzen Park, this little German facility there, and cut through. And that was the only time ever. I've never been around it. That's why when I hear about it, I tense up. Because it's something that I don't even, I can't comprehend it. No. It's I terrifying. I don't understand it. I dodged no. the bullet twice. Yeah. Yeah. Once when I was, uh, I was about seven or eight, I used to go to the library by myself. And uh, I was always into like monster movies and shit. And I was, I was for every time, since I was a little kid, I was into like vampires and werewolves and shit like that. Just thought those were fun. And, you know, my parents just got divorced, so I just was looking for some sort of an escape. All of a sudden, we were living in San Francisco. Walking through this library, looking at all these uh, monster books, and some guy goes, you know, I got a lot of other monster books. And I'm like, yeah? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I got them in my car. Do you want to see them? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So I start walking out with this guy, and the librarian screams. I was at the library all the time, so the librarian knew my name. She goes, How Joseph. Old How old were you? No more than eight. Wow. I, th I don't think I was any more than eight. This is, I think I was, I was either seven or eight. Um, and um, the librarian screaming, Joseph, Joseph, you get away from him. He just got out of jail. You get away from him. And the guy fucking runs. He runs out the door. And I just felt like, like a person who just missed a car accident. Like I stopped on the, on the sidewalk, and right in front of me, two cars collided. And a, a second later, I could have walked right into that. That's what it felt like. Mm. Like, whoa, I just dodged. The, uh, who knows? Maybe it would have just touched me. Maybe it would have killed me. Who the fuck knows? This guy just got out of jail. Uh, Probably doesn't want to go back wow, to jail again. Wow. Who knows? You know? And then the second time, I was about 13. And I was living in um, this place called Jamaica Plain, which is kind of like a... Nah, it was, it's not the best part of Boston. It's a lower, lower income. used to be. I think now it's coming up. But back then, it was, it was kind of kind of sketchy there was parts that were real sketchy and we would walk to uh this jamaica pond and go fishing there all the time me and my friends and there's this one dude who was a teacher and he um had been somehow or another been kicked out of teaching and uh you know he's living on some sort of a pension he would just go jogging around the the park and uh, would talk to us every now and then while we were fishing seemed like a real nice guy and this guy dragged this shit out for months and months and months where he would just come by and try to gain our trust and try to be nice and was like super friendly he would like bring us candy or sodas and uh, he was thinking about us and I mean this motherfucker was patient he was really patient until so one time I was there and I was alone and he showed up and he was drunk and it was really scary because he goes, he goes, you know, I love you. And I was like, what? I, was, I didn't know what to answer. I was fishing while this guy was saying this to me. He's sitting down on the grass, and I'm standing up, and I'm fishing. And he goes, uh, and, you know, there, there really can't be true love without sex. And I go, what? Oh, my God. And I just go, what? That's all I, I remember saying. I said, what? I go, man, you got to get the fuck away from me. And I had a knife. And so I, I put my hand in my pocket and I held on the knife. But I was thinking, man, I'm only 13 years old. I don't, I'm a little scrawny little pipsqueak. I'm like, this is a grown man. Like, this might be a fucking real problem here. Like, all my senses were at 10. I had no martial arts training, no nothing by, back then. I, was, I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was in a full-blown panic. And thank God this guy was not dangerous. He wanted me to want to do that. He wanted me to, like, fall into his thing. But he didn't want to rape me. So he had some crazy thing for young boys, but he didn't have a rape thing for young boys, fortunately for me. But if he did, I, I would have been fought, or I would have tried to stab him, and who knows, I would have been, probably would have taken the knife away from me and stabbed me. You know, who the fuck knows? You mean a little kid is not really mm. a match for a grown fucking man. He was a big guy, too, but it was terrifying. Mm. And then wow. years later, this dude wrote a letter to my fucking house, and that was really creepy, because somehow or another, this fucking dude knew where I lived. Mm. And I don't know how he knew where I lived. I never told him. I never gave him my address. This wow. motherfucker found my address and sent a letter to my house talking about our friendship and all the times that we were together oh and, and the pressure that he was under because he was fired from his job. And I'm like, wow, did I dodge a bullet? Did you show that to your mother? Or? 
I don't remember. I, I might not have because I might have been embarrassed by it. I might have been embarrassed that I got that close. And, you know, the, the teenage years, especially for a, a young boy filled with angst, there's a lot of rebellion in those years. And there's a lot of I can handle it on my own. And there's a lot of you guys are fucking idiots and I'm not going to mm-hmm. be like you when I get older. And so, you know, you kind of get a, a, a big head of steam. And when there's some sort of a perceived fuck up, like you, what you, you were hanging around with some pedo and you didn't even know this guy was a weirdo. Right. Why didn't you tell me? So I didn't want to deal with all that. Right. I didn't want to deal with being criticized. So I just decided most likely to keep it to myself, unfortunately. But that's just because I was a teenage idiot. But that was scary. That was scary shit. So since that time, I mean, when from 13 on, did you feel very suspicious of people? Oh, yeah. Like, once totally. that happened, it's like everyone has to win your trust, right? Well, I really felt like I dodged two bullets because I always remembered that time in the library. Yeah. And then feeling this, uh, that I dodged the second bullet from this other guy. And this, this guy really creeped me out because he just seemed like a cool dude that was mm-hmm. like an interesting guy. You know, we'd have some interesting conversations. And he'd be like, you know, you're very intelligent for 13 years old. He's like, just buttering me up, man. Yeah. You know, and I thought he was just a nice guy, mm-hmm. you know, and he was just looking for some young boy gay sex and just yeah. slowly trying to work his way into the picture. Yeah. It's, well, r- it's amazing. I, it's just that people are wired like that, that some people, that's their, mm-hmm. that's their hot pussy. But you know? yeah, <laughs> and there's nothing you can do kind of yeah. if you're wired, your kink is that. Yeah. I, was gonna say, I don't know though. if there is anything they can do or no, not. I, I would have to think that, that they have never done extreme doses of psychedelics. Because <laughs> I think that would, <laughs> would, that that would straighten it? that shit right the fuck <laughs> out. You would realize what you're doing and you'd never be attracted to that again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If well, there's a reset button that's available, it's the high dose psychedelic experience. Well, I think the interesting thing is like um, I was engaged for a while after I had gotten divorced and uh, my fiance at the time had this best friend who had this 13 year old boy and he was like you know why don't you let the boy come and babysit your kids Mm -hmm. and i and this backstory was that boy's father had been sent to prison for uh porn on his computer or something (sighs) happened and i was like no i'm not gonna do that and he was like he kept saying why why yeah child porn why why and i said you know what i I know about molestation and all that kind of crazy mm-hmm. stuff. And, and I have to tell you that when a parent is responsible for molesting or for child porn or whatever, and it's in the household, the sins aren't visited on the children, but children that are around that, mm. they are, I think, tend to be more open to, to that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And not saying that this young boy would ever molest my boys, but it's like it's my fucking job to say I don't think so. That's just not going to happen. And and I think a lot of that is parent responsibility. Like like where are your fucking kids? You yeah. have to have yeah. you have to know where your fucking kids yeah. are. When we were oh, growing yeah. up, you know, no, we were, that was a, wild. Yeah, that yeah. was everyone was on the street. You it's know? so weird how different things are today. I mean, it really is like a, you know, if you look at like the evolution of the world, you know, and and society, one of the big things is how much more unsafe kids feel you know well, you never worried about getting even though i almost got molested twice i really didn't think about getting molested you know we were just going out me and my friends would just go out you want what do you want to do you want to guys want to go fishing yeah let's go fuck it fuck it come on let's go you know and you'd, 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 you didn't like i i would be in terror if i had a 12 year old boy a 13 year old boy oh, yeah. and he's this little fella just gonna go off by himself with a little bucket and a fishing rod and be like are you fucking oh, kidding I me never let my kids do that <laughs> are you fucking kidding me but i feel like it was dangerous i mean i grew up in la here and from the time i was like 12 13 i was on the bus i was going to hollywood i was going you know you know i had another problem in that i had a guy that i met when i was a a young boy that was a a guy that was a stranger who was like who ran a youth camp who was a really nice guy and so when anybody would try to be nice to me because of that i would just automatically assume that they were like this youth camp guy who was like this really nice guy Mm. until the two molestation attempts to uh you know, I, I, I never would have even considered that that could be a possibility, yeah. you know? Well, Oprah but says But to girls, girls, it must you. be it's just commonplace, right? Uh, how many of oh your yeah, friends? Yeah. How many of everybody. your friends? Almost everybody. Uh, everybody. God damn it. And gay boys. So yeah. crazy. Gay and my yes. gay man friends, yes. too. A lot <laughs> of them everybody. molested. Yeah. Yeah, would man. you think that it's possible that some gay guys were just molested by men when they were really young and that just triggered it? 
became they became homosexual because yeah, they of just it. tried. There's a there was I, I think that's been disproven is somehow. It? Yeah. How, how do you know? But you know what the only way say, to disprove that is to like take four kids and diddle two of them. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't do that, <laughs> man. Can't do you but, can't uh, do that. Can't do that's but, just uh, how that's, there's, there's uh, a lot of guesswork involved in that fucking. Theory. I wake up uh, every morning and I can't tell you because my mother died at a young age, so I moved in with different friends' parents. And none of them were fucking pedophilias. Yeah. And I think about my childhood, like the closest thing, like my in my house, they were very loose with their words yeah, growing up. Too. So I, I don't know how that affected me, but there was this one, uh, I told Felicia on the other podcast that we had this guy on the block when I was like 12 or 13. His name was Nelson, and we used to buy weed from him, and he'd roll it for us. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know how to roll weed. He worked in the city. He was a bartender in the city, but he came in, but he lived in a studio apartment, like a rocky apartment in the back. And, you know, we'd give him money for weed, and we'd go over, and he used to say, listen, my girlfriend's coming over today. I'm going to fuck her, and I'm going to leave the window open. Give me a buck apiece and sit by the window. And we'd go over there like Masterpiece fucking theater and sit outside his window. And I'll never forget that she used to say she was ugly as shit, guys. And at the end of the fuck, she'd say, give me milk, daddy. Give me milk. And he would come at her. And we would just oh, sit there on. like, and that is like, I, I told Felicia the story and we I both looked that. at each other and I went home and that is as cutting age, as cutting edge, as kinky as it got in my childhood. And I don't hate that guy for that today because he explained a lot of sex things to us right. that nobody would around the block. But that was a little too fucking crazy. Like I never seen the guy's dick or anything in this little masterpiece theater. But I seen like the girl's tits, and I would see her sucking his big dick, you know, from the okay. side. And but that's a lot. <laughs> see, Joey and I that's had a, a lot. We had a big discussion on the Beauty and the Beast that podcast. That was crazy. Because to me, I was all like, "That guy is a molester." And Joey's like, "No, no." no he never molested nobody yeah, in there, no. but he was but cool. But it was to inappropriate us. that he invited. He was doing that. Yeah. yeah. But it's he a saying comes from. He the wouldn't same invite spot. us. He would charge us two bucks oh, a fucking head. Oh. Well, maybe he was just smart about it. Back there, he was a businessman. If you know this neighborhood we're talking about, these are hard times. You got to make money when you. No, no, around. my neighbor at the time was very nice. This guy had money and everything. So he, he was just doing used, it for money just to just, let you know that it was no, worth something. Like he, was, he used to just say, you, for free, you motherfuckers. Yeah. You yeah. want to yeah. watch me fuck? <laughs> you motherfuckers. Pay me! I'm not going to do this shit for free, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he would bang a couple chicks, but there was this chick in particular I liked that liked the window open, you know, yeah, and she was sure. kind of slobby. Uh, she was like a waitress at his place. Uh, but uh, it, it was uh, just fucking, it was very cutting edge for me. Well, like that's as kinky as it got. Yeah, for me. I, I never saw, I mean, I saw my dad was a bit of a loose, swinging kind of guy. So I saw some inappropriate shit from, from day one. But I've seen a lot of guys masturbating in public my oh, whole no. life. I've walked across homeless people masturbating at least now once a year. But from the time I was 12, some guy on the bus is jerking off. Some homeless guy on the steps is jerking <laughs> off. I had a flasher under the fucking freeway. Well, I mean, I just. What are they going to do, though? I've seen dicks my that's whole life. That's fucking yeah. disgusting. <laughs> if you got to jerk off outside, yeah. that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. I've whacked off at some weird places, but never fucking outside. Never under too. a bridge, Joey. Fuck no. You know well, what I'm saying? Because that's a thing. That's a specific thing that you, you like to be. You know, outside, the danger whacking of off. It. Oh, yeah. that's oh. fucking disgusting. But I heard uh, you're supposed to shame that person like if you see someone publicly doing no that shit. as a woman you're supposed to be like you dirty fuck <laughs> no, you, should, shame you should give him fucking flowers <laughs> and tell him to keep doing what he's doing things are gonna change for him yeah, you have to get real aggressive if in you're LA, whacking yeah, up yeah, outside yeah. you got fucking major league problems yeah. you know what I'm saying I mean it's uh, <laughs> that's fucking crazy you think that's ma yeah that is major league I never yeah, had a sudden not... urge to fucking whack off in fucking public or at the beach well where's the weirdest <laughs> place you ever have whacked off at in your fucking house like a normal person <laughs> shot in the tub okay gonna, what room what's the weirdest room who the fuck room? knows but I ain't gonna whack off outside in public like a filthy fucking animal could you just touch it for us right no, now you can't do that type that of is shit varsity you know what I'm saying? that is varsity level kink is to masturbate whack off outside in the yes. fucking street like an animal you can't like, do that shit or in the park in Griffith Park you ever you, seen those gay guys pick up each other gay guys listen I love gay guys because they don't give a fuck well there's two extremes they, of gay guys yeah. there's the really uh, very nice ones <laughs> and they're the ones that are fucking savages that's right that they'll that's fucking right. suck at the YMCA <laughs> the YMCA in Hollywood bro there's two of them on Sunday really? that one day somebody had to say something in the pool and here's the crazy <laughs> thing that bothered me about these two guys that they looked gay but they were borderline retarded looking gay <laughs> 
Like those retarded <laughs> looking faggots. You know what I'm talking about? They were no, like on the borderline. Wait, wait, what's a retarded you looking ever see, faggot? You ever seen like, sure a, like you ever see a chick on TV that sucks dick on you porn? Yes. And you can tell she got hit in the head with a stick somewhere along yeah. the line. Okay. Like they had surgery. Sometimes they have those, those <laughs> low end. Those surgery. Low, they have those low end faggots that'll suck your dick That's at a park. Right. Or on Santa Monica Boulevard at 6 in the morning. You see they them outside. They're savages. They're low fuck. Listen, in Hudson County Park in Jersey, there was a guy that would ride around a bike. And while you were parked at the light, he'd pull up to you on the bike. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Well, that's how his approach was to suck your uh, dick. Yeah. This guy was a professional dick sucker to pull up to you on a bicycle. <laughs> professional on a car. dick sucker. And you know what? I heard from people that he used to talk people into sucking their dick right on a bike. Like, pull up to you at the light. Like talk like straight people? Like sure? straight. People would say, dog, that, because we were talking about, bro, who's that faggot at the fucking Hudson County Park? Because we were trying to mug him, and we used to have a, fa a bike. <laughs> So one day someone was like, dog, that dude picks up big time pussy on that fucking bicycle. Uh, he gets guys coming in from New York and Jersey. He just pulls up to him on a bike. How you doing? It's a beautiful day today. What are you looking around for? A dick sucking or something? Yeah. He pick up how guys many, in a how bike. How many guys are into having guys suck their dicks? A lot. A and lot. creepy ones. Like, dog, really? let me tell you something. Yeah. I grew up I grew up in New York when New York New York was New York. Not that it's a little fucking, uh, little fucking yuppie shit they turned into. I grew up in New York when 42nd Street was 40 fucking second Street. And that's where I learned about. 40 seconds. That's, that's why I learned about the pedophile. That's why I learned about the freak. That's why I learned about the technology of people and how they're built. Because yeah. when you're getting off your bus at 7 o'clock and you see fucking professional people, rabbis, mm. people of fucking, not people of nothing, people of means that live in Wyckoff, New Jersey and get off a fucking bus and their first stop at 7 is a fucking peep show. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so don't tell oh, me about yeah. your stupidity. I seen them firsthand in New York City mm -hmm. when you're coming home at sick, coked up, and you see people going to a peep show that aren't the slum of the earth. These people oh, have yeah. suits on and fucking Rolex watches, and they go pull their dick and see two disgusting people. You ever go into one of those fucking things? Yeah. They have a circle. <laughs> they have a circle, and people have live sex in the middle, oh, and not like people. God. Like two yeah. people have been up for three days, get <laughs> cigarette butts. But out on them. Just disgusting, <laughs> fat, fucking disgusting, hairy people. Some guy that hasn't taken a shower, that instead of giving blood for ten dollars, he goes and sucks a black ass that hasn't been watered in four fucking days. Oh that's backed God. up with sperm and shit and yeah. God knows what else. Oh and you God. put tokens in this thing and the thing slides yeah. up and people fuck in front of you. If you take your dick out and you whack here's the beauty of it. That after you fucking jizz on the floor, they pay a guy ten bucks an hour plus benefits yeah. to come in with a mop yeah. and he wipes his jizz up and they do it constantly oh but in God. the 8th grade I cut fucking school and I don't give a fuck if he gets mad at me there's a trooper in San Diego his name is Paris Piziona I went to school <laughs> with him and he joined the fucking Marines and we went over to the city one time me, Paris Piziona Carlos fucking uh, the Perez and Dominic Special God bless his soul we did THC Crystal and this motherfucker would stick his head they had those they have peep shows that have the plexiglass that you whack off on the glass then there's 19 this, these idiots that are, oh go see Avatar with 3D glasses <laughs> bitch I seen pussy in 3D you put a quarter <laughs> in the thing the thing slides up and you stick your hand in and you put the quarter or the dollar bill in your mouth and the fat <laughs> fucking chick will get up and let you suck her tits for a dollar so my friend got all hot and sticky we're in the 8th grade he's like dog I need everybody's money and we're like what's going on he goes I'm going in and I'm sucking that black chick's big titties <gasps> she had those big 44 D's with the big pink fucking aortas with yeah. the, the nipple that was, <laughs> whatever the fuck they are with that fucking nipple that looked like Batman's rope the ones he climbed you know the ones he climbs up the side of the building that's what the nipples look like they droop down like they hadn't been watered in years <laughs> And my buddy Paris is in love with this bitch and he's sucking her tits and he's putting tokens in there he's whacking off and finally he was out of tokens and he got caught up in the tent and the sliding door would come down like the pendulum and then to the dragon and it landed on his fucking neck and he's in there yeah, ah, ah, and we're out there like what the fuck happened to Paris we kick open the door he's fucking stuck we had like barricaded an ambulance come and cut him in the back of the fucking neck this really? is and we but the fucking patois of that. <laughs> Just those fucking... Patois. And right now, oh, guess what? The old Laugh Factory was at the biggest peep store. When really? you get off Port In Authority, Hollywood? when you get off Port Authority on 42nd Street, you look to your left. Oh, you mean the Laugh Factory? On the corner. Yeah. That was the biggest... 
peep stuff. It was three yeah. floors. Gambino owned. Really? Disgusting. How is that still there, the Laugh Factory? No, I don't think it's there no, no more. No, I think it came and went. That was yeah. a big fucking rent. That was a big <sighs> I would hear about it, and I'd hear there was only a few people there. I'd be like, that's like Bro, for 30 shame. years, people had to suck and fuck, and they couldn't make the rent. I think Jamie's going to oh. giggle there with those badass comics and make yeah, rent. It takes a while to change the perception you, you of a neighborhood. fucking right? crazy. All that. Do they have any Street, other theaters there or anything? I don't know what's there, but 42nd Street, that side of it was perverted. And then they worked you slow. It was classic. Because when you cross the street to 42nd Street, those first 10 movie theaters were first run movies. You know, Avatar. Then it got into Dirty Harry and the Valachi Papers for five bucks. And then it just turned to this disgusting, vile place <laughs> at the end where I went into one of those theaters one time as a kid. You go in there to a Ray X because they're open at 11. You buy some bad weed. In those days, you made that turn around 42nd Street and all you hear was marijuana, acid, cocaine, and it was all fake. Really? All fake. Like what? if you In those days, uh, high times used to sell fake weed in the back they of the still street. do they still do uh -huh. and that's what they'd oh. sell you for in five bucks front. IDs passports mm -hmm. but towards the end there there was a rated X theater one day we went in there you know 13 you think you're sure. cool dog you go to the bathroom in there it could be completely empty when you looked it was like a it was like the godfather when, he, when they were in the hospital with the father how empty it was but bro all you had to do was get to the fucking thing lower your zip when you were 13 and they came out of the fucking walls it was like <laughs> I am legend a bunch of fucking disgruntled homos coming out of the road with sperm on their lips it was like it was like a, a zombie movie it was like one of those zombie movies they were dead from dick sucking who's up oh shit what? they called for him oh my goodness Triple, get in there am I on after Joey yeah this show is going so fast. Yeah, it's what a great happens? crowd, right? Oh, it's fantastic. That great. crowd was awesome. So good. Yeah, yeah these yeah. podcast crowds are amazing. Oh. They're all podcast people now. You can oh, yeah. you can go from like zero to a hundred with them in like no time. You know what I mean? Yeah, you well, they're, they're used to the real shit. You yeah, know? it's great. And yeah. you could say punchlines that most places you would be pulling them like, oh, okay, that punchline's <laughs> not going to happen with this crowd. Yeah. Well, you know, it's for the longest time the hardest thing a comic has to accomplish is to try to get your crowd to try to get your yeah. own crowd try to get the people that 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 are coming to see you yeah. it's the hardest fucking thing to oh, do absolutely. so often when we work at comedy clubs they're just coming to see whoever the fuck's in town yeah you know yeah. it's a date night oh, yeah. you want to do it? you want to check out the comedy club well this guy says it says it's from comedy central want to take a chance okay let's take a chance it's almost gotten to the point where i because I, I just did this tour with ari called the monsters of comedy and we were just touring the gig was to play the best gigs and the worst gigs and just film it all and i found like we were fighting television almost where like if you weren't on tv you're you're not real like people almost want to see almost famous people oh, yeah. over entertaining people of course, yeah. and it's like it's gotten weird and that's why sometimes they don't have the highest uh standards for or highest like love for comedy it's really weird well you know they think that those people that are on television are gonna be the real deal that's what it is and when they don't know who you are it's hard for someone who doesn't know the, who the comics are to invest any effort into this comic you know who knows this guy might suck you know he might torture you with 15 minutes of horrible material you got to listen through and if you've ever been to a comedy show you know a lot of times that's the case a lot of times you got to sit through a couple guys that are atrocious you know yeah. especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere you know it's, it's hard it's hard for people to and you're probably yeah i mean it's definitely weird i just feel that like they should have I, like when i would go on the road they'd always put me with the weirdest acts that did not fit what I wanted to do on stage. So you're like, you're sending me out as a headliner, so you want me to close it out, you want me to be the feel of the show. Put somebody that kind of fits me up, and that's why I always like what, you know, when Joe, when you first started going out with like Ari and, and Joey, I was like, that's brilliant because by the time you get up on stage, the tone has been set. Yeah, well, the tone has been set, and they crush. So by the time you go on stage, the audiences are, there's no worry about whether or not they got their money's worth. They're having a great time, you know, and when you get up there, you just ride the wave. You just go on and, you, you know, you, you keep it going in the same direction. No, one is, yeah. they, so they I feel guess like, so yeah, they feel like, 100%. Yeah. They, they feel like uh, they just, they got their money's worth, you know, and they get to see. And, you know, we know how it is, man. We're all, it's like uh, Ari is doing a lot of headlining lately, but when he's got a weekend free, he'll work with me. You know, and then, or you work with me, and you got a lot of headline shit, and Joey's got headline shit. Joey got a fucking standing ovation in Buffalo, dude. Ari told me Joey went on stage, and they all got out of their seats and started fucking cheering him. 
Dude, I love that guy. It's amazing. I he's, think it's amazing that awesome. he, it's never the same thing. Like, that's crazy to me. Oh, the like, way he goes on stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a free never baller. Never the same thing. He's a real comic. It's you know? jazz, he's man. Really, the yeah, fact that really people is. don't respect what he does, you know, because it's dirty, is one of the most foolish mm-hmm. things about comedy. He is, in my opinion, one of the funniest people on the planet. Do you want to watch this I animation agree. that somebody animated? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put it up. <laughs> it's right there behind you. It this is brilliant. Check this out. <laughs> this is from the podcast. Talk to him Hold on, let me... Uh, shit. It's uh, Joey talking Are you in the middle, Joe? Yeah, that's supposed to be me. I love my lips. <laughs> yeah. He's looking at you and be like, so no, pretty. I'm just hanging out, babe. Hello, my honey. Like that? Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> I like Joey, but the lips don't match Joey's lips. It's the wrong sound. Uh, it looks like go. he just sucked a cock. Sorry. <laughs> like he sucked a cock? It's yeah. So. He looks like a blow-up down mouth. Brian has the man. Hit that shit. <laughs> Brian is dark, mysterious. I'd like to talk to him about that. Freaky chicks in Jersey when I was growing up. <laughs> Nothing beat that dirty whore I used to date from Michigan, though. The one that threw me out when I first met you and took my clothes off. Oh, yeah. And leather jacket. That's the crazy bitch I was fucking in the ass in Seattle when I felt something <laughs> hitting my dick. So I looked at her asshole. I stuck like two fingers, like something was hitting the top of my unit. I'm like, what the fuck is this sharp thing hitting my dick? <laughs> So I took my dick out. She's like, oh, 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 and I just put two fingers in there. I searched around her asshole. And that's when I found like a fucking little, like a, you know when you eat a Hershey's bar, like aluminum foil that's out inside the Hershey, like half of it. And I took it out, but it was all wrinkled oh, up. And it was awesome. like, this was pointy over here. And I just took it out, looked at it. It was like kind of brownish. I put it on the table and stuffed my dick back in there and finished up. What? Yeah, the oh. And then when I came, I just got up with toilet paper and picked it up. I never said nothing to it because how do you tell somebody they have a aluminum phone in their ass? How the fuck do you have an STD or something, but aluminum phone, I can't get that. I never, I know, why would you ask, you know? It was wow. just a little piece. Maybe she had a piece of chewing gum. It's like a shank in her ass. Fucking stripper chick, dog. Oh, so Joey's funny. awesome. The best. Yeah, I don't He's know why. Why is it considered dirty? To be honest, it kills me because I don't. Oh, that's trust, dirty as fuck. What are you talking about? But I don't trust a male comic that doesn't talk about his dick or masturbating or shitting or women because that's what guys deal with. If some guy gets up there and talks about fucking cookie and cookie and the sandwich and you're like it's so <laughs> inauthentic you have so many fucking demons howling inside of your head as a male comic if you're not talking about these kind of things. I think it's a sign of mental illness. I That's why I'm Tom Segura people. married this badass bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Tom that Segura kid's going to come out with uh, clown yeah. shoes on. I remember the first time I saw Christina, she was Stop at one it. of the naughty shows. And I've talked about this a, a bunch of times. Oh, right. you, you went up at this naughty show, and I was like, this poor function. girl. She's going on after someone got spanked <laughs> with a belt. The dude was getting whipped with a belt. Dude was, was Ari. And yell- yeah, it was Ari. He was screaming <laughs> and yelling, and it was chaos and, and, and titties. And it was just fucking nuts, right? And she went on, I'm like, wow, what a terrible way to go on stage. Now here you got to do your, your act. And I was hoping she was funny. You know, I was like, please, I hope she's funny. And she just got on and just destroyed. Just grabbed the room, rode the energy, made fun of the whole fucking thing. And oh, Joe right Rogan. off the bat. You I killed can't so leave. hard. Stop it, guys. I can't take this is the truth. I'm, can't sorry, take. I'm sorry to do that, but you got to change your name. Ah. Change this is Will you come up with a last name besides Segura? Why? Hey. Segura's great. And well, they say that's why him. most women, it's not like a feminist thing, but I, most women don't take the last names of their husband if they don't like the last name. Is that what it is? No, I like Segura. I'm just saying for the last 10 years in stand up, I've been Pajitsky. It's so why? Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta no, get rid you of can that change name. that shit. Yeah. Christina, yeah, 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 get rid of that name. It's too honestly, hard. Honestly, I don't I, know your name and I know you. But this is this is true. This it's is true. Spooky. We've been doing how, how how long we've been doing the podcast for you, your mom's house? No, uh, no. Like 40 episodes. Yeah. I still have to Google search your last 100%. name just to make sure I spelled it right. Well, okay, all right. Listen, legally, <laughs> it is Segura. Legally, Let's I go can with Segura. It. Why are you disrespecting your man like that? Can I that? tell you why, Joe it's Rogan? The Segura brothers. Please because Please I am an immigrant. I'm Hungarian. I wasn't born in this country. I feel like Segura, it's it's Latin. It's not who... People are going to be like, oh, are you fucking... Are you the Mexican comic? And I'm like, I'm not a Mexican. My husband's Mexican. So would you rather change it to Wait, something Tom's fake? Wait, Mexican? He's not my... He's Peruvian. God, it's like, wait a second. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, it's, funny when, it's, it's funny when people talk uh, shit in Spanish in front of Tom. Because oh, I've oh, seen it yeah. a couple of times. Tom speaks fluent Spanish. Oh, really? 
really? And he looks oh, like yes. a bro. He looks like a he bro. He does, bro. totally. I would never strip club, guessed bro. that. He looks like he a, told me you know, he's a, a fucking eye. guy's guy. He's a bro. He's the best. And meanwhile, that motherfucker speaks fluent Spanish. And he'll throw people off by like talking to them in Spanish. And you'll see the look in their face like, what did he hear? How much did he hear? You know? I'm going to start grabbing my wallet, Funny. though, when he's around. Like, <laughs> I know. I didn't, I didn't really know this. Yeah, I, don't think. I didn't know he was a shady mistake that you just did. Wait, well, here's my argument for keeping Pajitsky is that, look, they learned Galifianakis and they learned Schwarzenegger. I'm Galifianakis is actually phonetic. Well, yeah, but Pajitsky, mm. and that it doesn't, how do you spell it? See, we're all butchering it, too. Homegirl, this shit is a whack. See, wait, let me try to do it. P-A-Z-Shitsky. S-I-T. S K Y. I'll tell you, you get booked just on the name. Z-K-Y. Please welcome yeah, shit. Christina Shitsky. It's the shit. Christina Shits. P Shit. Like a black comic. I took two shits today. What's up? That's my yeah. Like Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, yeah. Christina the Shits. Do you know who was at the comedy store the other day? Your clothes or your shit into like one of those old milk chugs. That'd be great. You would just crush in Amsterdam. Just have your she ends with shit in the bag. Lock up an airtight seal on the mouth there of that go. old milk jug and just shit one out in for the closer. You know, I had a guy light his fart before me in Texas. Really? Unsta- like he the host. Is- Dude, no, dude features on, in Texas am I on are next? weird as shit. You're on next. Joey Diaz has really been on for seven minutes. Oh. Okay, I should get in there. How long is he going to do? Uh, probably like 15, I would say. Okay. I, uh, I did a gig in uh, Texas and... Oh. I get picked up by the GM. Why are you the club? Texas? Because I've done like Odessa. I love Texas. But they always so try to scary. put the weirdest features with me. He's like, we got our best features. Who wants to see how you, how you follow them? Oh, I'm that's like, the worst. Why would you do that? They're never. Why are you trying yeah. to make the major portion of the show possibly not going to happen? Have a bad set. <laughs> well, I because feel they like always want to like support local talent because yeah. local talent are their buddies. Yeah. Those are the guys they see every week. Yeah. And like you know, local talent in all markets. You know, I, I know MMA. This happens. They always want to think you know our boys will fucking beat their boys. You know. Oh you know? yeah, he, especially you know. LA. <clears throat> yeah. They all just want to be like we're funnier than you guys. You but in LA, it definitely is though. Is the comedy club when Joe Rogan's not in town is hurting? So they want like oh no he opened up for Joe Rogan. This guy opened up for Joe Rogan. So they use it as like they are trying to support their. their comics at their club also i think for nights off when they don't have you in town or like a big person that they can sell tickets well so you know because of the podcast now all of you guys could could headline places you know i mean you've been headlining for a while but I mean, yeah. everybody because of all of our podcasts all of us have like a, a window to people that you never had before you get like oh yeah you, you get to communicate with them so openly it's, it's there's the never best. been anything like this before it's the best and and i don't know i think now celebrity has changed in that it's not an it's not enough to just be funny and awesome you have they have to know you they have to know what you what you shit what you eat what your life is no, so, I mean, There's you know, a dynamic to it, I, I think see it's shitting either it comes or. back. I love shitting. <laughs> shitting shit. Come love on, it. You shit shit's here, right people. Who talks I love, the best? I Get love out that shit milk jokes. jug and lube up the a hole. <laughs> Let's do it, kid. You could you get sponsored by like some kind of baggy yeah. company. Oh, no, uh, Charmin. Yeah, toilet yeah. paper. That'd be awesome. Be sponsored by Charmin. Own that bag afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> on eBay. Own that bag on eBay. Oh, we I'm microwave it. it. We we seal it, vacuum sealed, so no diseases can get out. It just pancakes her shit. <laughs> he should. <laughs> she should have feature for that scat lady, thing. Joe. You could vacuum that. seal it, and then you could frame it, and then Christina shits his <laughs> shit. You, you know, there's probably some shit freaks out there that would pay a lot of money for I that. know. Scat yeah. lady would can love I, a feature. Can I, is there a scat lady? Because oh, I know yeah. there's like the Tennessee I tweeted tram. One. I tweeted one a couple of days back. It was uh, somebody tweeted me this thing. I think the YouTube title is Woman Loves Eating Logs. <laughs> Something. Oh, no. Oh, I don't God. get it. It is a woman who is, no. uh, she's, I don't know her name. Does but she she's a, a specialist. <laughs> no, no. She says shit in her mouth and she oh, swallows it. Mommy. And, and she talks oh. about how for years she had to condition oh. her body so that she could eat and swallow Stop shit. Stop Because it. she wants to digest it. <laughs> she was talking about how she has a pig stomach and nothing makes her feel better when then she's smeared and her stomach is full of shit. Yes. It feels good. Yeah, and she prefers male shit because men have mm. a more meaty diet and they have more spicy shit. She oh. says. Oh. It's robust. Wow. Can I tell you that? Wow, indeed. Oh, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. There's, yeah. there, it's, there's, wow. it's like that song. It takes every kind wow. of people. I can't even. <laughs> you know that I, I was That's friends. So I'm not friends with, but mm. I know Puck from the real world. And he claims, he mm. claimed for a while, mm. this is like six years ago, he goes, 
yeah, I go to this house and then a guy leaves $100 on the counter and there's a bag. I shit in the bag. I leave my oh shit my there. God. I take the hundred dollars and I go. And he's uh, he's like, yeah, it's like an easy hundred. And I was like, yeah, I would fucking sell my shit. What do you would do? Too. That? What's that, Brian? I do it for ten dollars. What is that? What is that? It takes all kind of people. What? It takes all kind of people. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> if you want to put a song on, we do put this on because I'm about to go on stage. Yeah. Give me "Everybody Wants Some" by Van Halen because we were talking about Van Halen, Every, Women and Children oh. first. Did you guys play that one song? No, no, no. This is the fucking shit. This is the goddamn song, man. Joey and I were talking about how "Jump" was sort of like the beginning of uh, the end. Uh, yeah. I wish we could have gotten David Tell to come out and do this show when he was out this. Yeah, way. he had to go back home. He's back home in New York right now, but he did the podcast this week. He was fucking David Tell is so the best, cool. Is the best, best, best. When my brother Such passed a nice away, human being, man. my brother so died funny. 15 years ago. David Tell was the only person that I knew, and I didn't even know him that well. That sent me a condolence card in That's the comedy awesome. community. He's, he's a nice he's dude. Stellar. David he's Tell aces. is stellar. He's a, a really good human being. Oh. Man. Can and I he's tell brilliant, you? you know. It's sorry. Yeah, he is. No. I just want to say he, he's so he like so underrates Prolific. himself. Yeah, you know. He's I mean, it's, he's such a he's such a uh, self deprecating guy, but he's like one he's of the best really comics on the funny. planet. He's on really top five. I he's definitely. Top, I, he's is top he three me? for yeah. me. Yeah. He's phenomenal. This is everybody wants him. This is when Van Halen was fucking real, man. This is when they were on top of this shit. This is when they were young and vibrant. So when they had the they had chest hair and tights on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they yeah. had everybody. How man. great was that gig, man? That's all that guy had to do was just play the bass. Was that things. Alex Van Halen or was he the drummer? No, the, drummer the drummer. The drummer is Alex, Alex Van, Van, Van Halen. Halen, right? The bass player was the pudgy guy, right? Yeah, he's yeah. Michael. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Michael something. Michael something. Michael Lucky Motherfucker that guy can something. Go <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Michael Lucky Motherfucker something. <laughs> David Lee Roth was like no other man. There had never been a front man like that. He would jump and do jumping fucking karate kicks and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But that was, was kind of yoked, you know? Yeah. David like Lee Jim Roth Morrison was, was kind of one of the first of the, like the crazy. Fr I guess yeah. the, that the 60s, 70s, but then the 80s guys were all going crazy. David Lee Roth was the first unapologetic partier, unapologetic narcissist, unapologetic <laughs> womanizer, unapologetic drinker. He's one of my favorites of all time. He is a unique dude. This guy's a unique dude. Remember though when they were gonna get back together for, a, and yeah. then they went. He went on some music show, and then he had like fucking parachute pants on. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? And the whole crowd was like, Oh yeah. no, 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 no. But they are on. They <laughs> did they tour? Because I know they were supposed to get back together. They, I don't think they did after he went on that show. I don't know. They should do a tour where they got both of those lead singers and they just do different. Yeah. They each take turns that's singing. An idea. And then wow. at the end, they just kind of both. Suck off the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit in a plastic bag and see. Joe yeah. Rogan to the stage. Joe Rogan to the uh -oh. stage. Are you up there right now? Probably. Yeah, probably. probably right. All right. So All this right. How, how long do you think you're going to be doing? Like like 45? Yeah, hour? something like that. Then okay. I'll come back. All right, cool. We'll, we'll keep, keep this going. This, keep this bitch rolling. Yes. I'll see you All right, next. so Joe's leaving. And uh, tell Joey Diaz to come back in. Get him, get his Powerful ass. introductory episode. Yes. Of Ice House Confidential Chronicles. Chronicles. And I'm glad we got both of you guys because, by the way, oh both of you guys are two of the people that we've been talking about getting on our podcast. Yes. So, you know, we've been wow. talking about getting you guys on and Love we got it. us all together. This is Very fucking nice. awesome. Thank you. Thank all right. You. I'll see you guys in 40 minutes. All, all right. right. Felicia, I love you. I, I, love I loved you watching you. I've never seen you. Let's hug later. I know. We're gonna I've done scissor. threesomes before. I know when to shut up. <laughs> And then he looked down at his Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> you girls are hot. I just got, I just got five more Twitter followers. <laughs> All that right. It was a great crowd. Let me tell so you about that crowd. Yeah. I was uh, a couple of jokes where I, I just wanted to work on new shit. At some point, you know. By the way, like, you de you you destroy. I forget. I, like uh, I, I I try not to watch many of the people I, I know very much because I I have a problem with like a lot of other comics. You know, it just it just seems like when you hang out with a bunch of comics, you start your ideas and stuff get kind of very similar. So I try not to watch. But one I, I watched like the last five ten minutes of you, dude. You you fucking took took control of that room and you you have like a show when you go on stage you're not typical comedy you you kind of make like a like a fun environment for the I audience do. sam triple is the party i yeah. try to get the party you're you know, the fucking party i wanted to be the party star but that's darren carter no. but uh <laughs> <laughs> but you're I, like the real wrong party. party. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> wrong parties down the street two blocks. <laughs> uh but I just like to you know I just I just grew up on the comics I kind of went up there and just fucking 
rattle the cages and i like i miss that we talk about that a lot christina about like just like what comedy is on stage and what what's being put on television and you know, I do think that's a reason why people don't go to comedy shows like they used to because sure. they're not inspired by what's, what they watch on television. And, you know, I always love watching comedy with <laughs> civilians and just watch them watch it and nobody laughs. And I'm just like, <laughs> yes. okay. And, but, it, but the most depressing part is it doesn't matter. I mean, I've seen people eat a giant red dog dick on stage. <laughs> And then they're back, like doing something two weeks later. It just it means nothing. So yeah. I just like to. I love podcasting. I Please, love yeah. it. I love it. I, I I get this reputation of being the porn whisperer or some shit like that. It's like, and I don't have that many on. I have more comedians, but I like like I read this article today about a woman who a sixty one year old woman in Arizona who went to a uh, sex ed class is now suing the school because part of her homework was to masturbate. That was what the teacher said to go home right. and do. And she's suing. Like, that's who I don't want at my right. comedy shows. Yeah. Stay yeah. home. Because yeah. she's going to go right to the owner going, I did not appreciate that language. Big fucking deal. Yeah, go You're up. grown up go and you're up. one person out of 300 people. But the club yeah. owner's like, oh my God, the sky is falling. I, don't, I hate but, that But shit. don't you think that's a severe disconnect from reality? If you're a grown ass person and you're like i can't hear the words cock and ball i don't have sex i can't talk about shitting if you can't like how you know what i'm saying like how fucking retarded are you uh, uh, and how sad is your life well i you know uh when i did comedy before i uh worked with robert schimmel and uh, oh, i love robert, robert schimmel's Schimmel. awesome uh, he was incredibly awesome but we did a gig in guam together and i went in as a feature and he was a headliner and then afterwards he was like hey the next time we go on let's just go on together and we'll do like a dirty burn and Alan. So he, so I go on, he goes on, and then we go on together. It fucking kills, right? So oh, the shit, that must have been course. awesome. It was so crazy awesome. And then he's like, look, let's try to get a couple of gigs together, and we'll try to do like a Dirty Burns and Alan oh. thing. So we go and we uh, work at the, uh, God, what hotel was it in Vegas? I, I want to say it was the MGM Grand. And uh, I think it was the MGM Grand. And, and so we're in the thing. I go up, you know, I have an okay set. He goes, you know, he's the filthiest guy. He was right. the filthiest the comic and the ever, right? And then I get kicked off the show for being <gasps> too dirty because a Christian group was in the show and they wrote a letter to, like, they, oh. that, the next day in the morning, they wrote a letter to whatever. And, uh, and I they got probably fired really complained off. about, oh, maybe because you're a woman, they were just like, ladies Absolutely. Are but first of all, it's a Christian group in a fucking casino. Yeah. Like, yeah, like with the hypocrisy a of that. Fucking casino. I love yeah. reality your you know, way. It's yeah. like Burger King where they try to they order their reality yeah. the way they want it. Right. It's like it's total bullshit. Someone just told me yes. a story about that where they got hired to do a gig they were featuring and the uh, headliner uh, was uh, this other guy and they were like we got Christian groups be clean. He's being clean. The last joke. They're just loving this kind of risque. He gets a little more risque and they're going. He drops his dirty line. Place explodes. Headline goes up. Is dirty. Place explodes. Afterwards, he gets fired, the feature, uh, because they won't fire the headliner. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I could tell by your body's no, functions I'm that you were <laughs> upset. That's your way of crying. Is yeah. You was don't cry, you burp. Right. Was that Ryan that burped? No, that no, was that's me. she always Sorry. burps. She burps and yeah. farted on my blanket the other day. I did. And what's funny is because I didn't hear it the first time, but I was going through an old podcast for yeah. some reason, and you were like, I just farted on his blanket. And I'm like, oh. Do you fart in front of your husband? I've, Do you fucking let it rip I in front fart, of you? We fart in front of each other. We tell shit stories. We just started a segment on our podcast where we tell our shit stories under like a suspenseful music or like and then I went and that I, is brilliant yeah oh it's so much fun that was good uh, did you like it Brian? yeah I liked that it that was our debut <laughs> um, but here's the thing too is I think there is a double standard when it comes to women saying the same shit that men do if I went up and did my husband's act which is fucking brilliant I think he's one of the funniest human beings one on, of the, funniest on the planet P.S. Uh, if I did the same there's some African act, guys are blowing it up I don't know if there's <laughs> some of these Zimbabwe dudes are pretty heavy hitters <laughs> But if I did the same act, people would be, oh, my God, you're so dirty. Like, no, 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 I'm not so dirty. I'm saying the same shit the guys are, but because I'm adorable and blonde and I have these wonderful breasts, and yeah. I'm perceived as being somehow, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking problem is. I think there is something that. I didn't that. mean to disconnect and start removing the lint out of my vagina so when you were telling that, that story. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. What Sorry were you saying? Um, 
<laughs> no, uh, I feel though Sorry. in Hollywood, <laughs> just with the industry, like girls who get kind of edgy, that's what they love. A little edgy. But for me, like, they don't like when I go just say what I want to say. Like, right. I was like, oh, hey, whoa. Like, well, and here's why, though, because a lot of the women that are the gatekeepers in this industry don't like guys like you because you're the guys that may have hurt them in college. One, like, they didn't think we would fuck them. That in too. High school. That and might that be I, part but of here's it. no. Here's the thing: is that, that they don't know what to do with it. That's right. They don't know what to do with it. That's the that's the problem. I I think it's yeah effing crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they could find something to do with. Did I see. I'm sorry. I said effing. Did you I say effing? I did say effing. Well, you know, God here's the thing: it, like uh, uh, a lot of clubs won't book you if you're if you chew dirty. Yeah. But of then. Course. It it is kind of a lazy thing to be dirty. I'm gonna be well, I'm gonna be fucking honest. It's uh, a lazy thing no, no, to no, be no, dirty. No, there is. I, well, let me just say this. It's not that it's lazy. And I'm the queen of filth. It's a la- It is a lazy thing. But though. if it's lowbrow, stupid. I mean, I'm yeah. sorry, but even and listen. The, and, and I talk to people about this. David Tell is dirty, uh-huh. but he's smart, dirty, oh, that's and he's not, not lazy, dirty. Though. That's and not he's lazy. not yeah. graphic with it. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Like you have to watch. You have to watch. Um, this guy isn't a, uh, a rapist. He's my okay. friend walking in. My friend Justin. Um, <laughs> you have to watch how you do. It. I have friends of mine who are just really filthy, and they're they're just so graphic, and it's like you're not being creative with your words. That's right. Right. And that's it. You know, if you're creative with your words, it's a whole different thing. Like David tells creative. Jim Norton's creative with his words. That's but, right. Nobody can write a dick joke like David Tell can write a dick joke. Right, and He's it's as all. smart as any. I mean, personally, yeah. and I love Seinfeld, but any joke that David Tell did that's a dick joke is as smart as any observation oh, in my yes, opinion so Jerry Seinfeld did yeah. that was squeaky clean yeah. of course yeah, I think but so. I also think part of it is your truth like I drop fuck and, and shit and I talk that's, about shitting in my life that's the thing it's like I've just discovered and I've done comedy for a long time and totally filthy but it's like if, if I would just stop saying fuck it would be different. I if, totally with you on that. If I would just stop, and it's a lazy habit. If I would yes. just stop saying fuck, it would be a, a it would be so much rese- People would appreciate uh, it more. Right. If you, yeah. if when you say, I'm sorry, were you just picking the lint out of your vagina? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the name of your new podcast. <laughs> picking the lint out of your vagina. Yeah, vagina yeah, lint. I love it. <laughs> I don't uh, know because I don't believe in that adage of like funny's funny because sometimes what audiences laugh at is fucking stupid. We've all seen those road acts uh, that are like the worst shit you've ever seen. I toured with somebody that I did not never respected who shall remain nameless. But my, uh, you know what I hate? You know, go on. Sorry, no, I'm no, no go ahead, Trips. Go. I hate that there's these people who do in the most simple yeah. premises. But they think they're like <laughs> Bill Hicks. Like they walk yeah. around like they're <laughs> Sam Kennison. And they're doing like, D- anyone been to Walmart lately? <laughs> Could the greeters get older? And they're just like, rock on, America. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not, there's no ri- There's no chance. There's no soul to it. Right. You know, but they're doing the most basic. And listen, this is my personal opinion. I think people, comics, and I talk to Justin about this all the time. Comics break down to two things, and sometimes they overlap. There's clowns and there's shit talkers. That's right. And I'm not yeah. saying one's better than the other, even though I prefer I one. They both have, you know, valid right. points. Yeah. The clowns just are doing anything to get a laugh. They're yeah. just that. The, the shit talkers want to say some shit and hope to get a reaction out of it. But sometimes the clowns think they're shit talkers. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, I, see, I see what you're saying. Can I tell you my personal peeve about comedy, and, and it's a thing that just happened to me. Uh, and I'm not going to name names, but y- you know that they have these like comedy sites where they put uh, cameras in clubs yeah. and they film comics. So I, a year ago, because I uh, did comedy for a long time, I took time off and I've been back at it for two years. So a year ago, I was at a club where they had one of those cameras and I was like, yeah, why not? Sure. They're going to film it and take some bits and put it on the Internet. Like, what's it going to hurt me? So they took four of my bits and they put it on, on their site. And it's not even stuff that goes on YouTube. And then I was working another club this year, and oh, and they said when when we put this up, we'll give you copies of your whole set. 
emailed them, never got a fucking copy of my set. Oh, and then a couple of weeks ago, I'm working at another club where they have the camera and they filmed the whole thing and they had emailed me beforehand this time saying, we want to use some bits, but I did. I was too busy and I had a lot of things going on. I didn't email back. And then like two days after I get home from the gig, they have the bits chopped up. We want to put this all up, every, you know, trying to pitch me. And I was like, no, I don't want it. I had to write a couple of times like, no, I don't want it. And then I'm looking on the internet, and uh, uh, it was uh, some other site had nothing to do with comedy. And then they they brought up this site's all the comedy clips from this site and people uh, an advertisement on it. That fucking pisses me off. Well, that, you could that also send them a, a decease oh, wow. and assist letter. Yes. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's not about like I gave my four bits, use my four bits. That's all. But that's all I'm going to give. It's a point of now they're making fucking oh, sure. money off of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That makes me so fucking angry because no comedian's not going to get any money off of that. Makes me that fucking. Well, they gave he's you. He's probably the CEO of that company. Yeah, over there. this is the uh, <laughs> this is the president of show business, guys. Oh, and sorry, you're hi, fucked. Guys. Sorry. That's his. So new funny. thing it's called president. chuckle junkie okay and all he does is take the president <laughs> he rapes comedians oh, that's no. his with a laugh track yeah. you well, guys are oh and he's taking that's the sign oh, sounds shit. about to get whacked <laughs> um i did a particular sites show and then it was from like six six or seven years ago and now it's on my imdb page and i was like can you fucking take it off i know it's, it's not old. right yeah it's and they're like cool. no we it's can't cool like oh, but, right. oh wait wait but they paid me 25 dollars to do it so oh they did i guess it's pretty worth it i mean oh. 25 dollars uh, who was i talking to last night they did a gig and they're like just do the gig man the guy's like they pay nothing doesn't matter man just do it have fun with i'm like at some point, you have to have value. Yes, You absolutely. have to put value to what you want to do. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And just flying around, just taking the gig for the sake of taking uh, the gig. Over it. Not like sometimes like young comics, if they're trying to start a room, they'll call me and I'll go, okay, I'll go do your room, <laughs> try to fucking help you out. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to pay me. That's cool. I'll do that. But... You know, I mean, like, I got a rule. I'm leaving. I'm leaving three, two, three. There better be some cash <laughs> at the end of that. Yeah, yeah. If I'm leaving where I'm living, right. I, I, there better be some cash in that. And I, like, I'd love the gig, bro. I know you're just trying to make comedy, but at the end of the day, gas is four dollars a gallon. That's right. And I got bills to pay. That's right. And you've also paid your dues. You know, you're not some. I paid so many dues. I'm paying other people's dues. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, you want your yeah. dues paid? I'll yeah. pay that shit. <laughs> Yeah. That's why all these young guys are hitting it because they're like, hey, dude, you paid for my dues. I already made it. Thank you so much. Hey, can you return my tax? Go fuck yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No. no, it's cool. I just, I just, you know, man, it's degrees and I just love. How long I, have you been doing comedy? I've been doing about 13, 14 years. Yeah. Where did you originally start? I started in upstate New York. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And uh, I started up. And I, no, I, let me take the back. I, I grew up in upstate New York. I started comedy in Vegas. And when I started there, there was one open mic every other week oh, in the wow. whole city. Because wow. the local, the, all the comedy clubs were in casinos and they wouldn't let locals go up because they would just get people from LA and they thought we were too dirty and we were too crazy. And the party starts, yeah, right? Yeah, ladies. So uh, when I peaked in Vegas, I had my own, I had my own improv troupe in three different casinos. A troupe. I had, yeah, I, I had my own uh, stand-up show on the Strip, and I was opening for Nick DiPaolo at the Riviera. Wow. And I said, "Fuck it, time to go. It's not gonna get any better than By this." By the way, Nick DiPaolo is the only comic, and I ever thought I wanted to fuck. Really? I swear to God. There you go. It's out there. Hi, Nick what? DiPaolo. That's well, the only that one. just crushed that's my the, dreams. That's the only one. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you depressed too, Christina? It's not happening. About what? Sorry. She doesn't want to fuck us. She just basically stated <laughs> that. <laughs> we're not Comedy is a hard biz. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to. But if you guys shit in a plastic bag in front of me, <gasps> I'll applaud and touch my left nipple. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Have you ever shit into a plastic I've bag? Never real shit talk. Into a plastic bag. Real talk. Let's get real. <laughs> Don't you have a theme music? It's time for real talk. Yeah, real Just talk. shit in the bag. <laughs> shit in the bag. I, I wouldn't even shit know. In the bag. How see that's shit why I knew that bag. two chicks in a cup thing was fake. Is it fake? Because how perfectly it came out. Now I've never watched any girls poop, but I mean it gets <laughs> ugly, dude. <laughs> I like I'm waiting for Dexter to come in and start going. <laughs> And the anus was crushed here. This splatter here. does not make sense. Yeah. 
<laughs> there was one close comma to this man's asshole. Here's some candy if anyone wants any candy. Yeah, oh. candy. Thank you, Mommy Jean. Wow, Jeans. look at that. That's crazy. Halloween. Kind of candy. And that's uh, Ooh, stuff. brought over to the beautiful uh, girl over there on the couch. Well, thank you. Couch. How are you? Uh, Who's your friend? Oh, your sister. Nice. Uh, Very nice. Cross that off the list. Hey, if you want to sit here, you can sit here and talk. <laughs> Sam Tripoli, have you had many sexual escapades? Uh, I'm I've, curious about your life. Yeah. I've had my share of stories. Good how, stories. How old of a gent are you? I'm not even old. I'm age. old. I'm late 30s. Late 30s. Oh, you look young. You look, you look no. dashing. I feel like I, I, I've done some stuff to abuse the, the, the body. <laughs> At one point, I looked really young, and then I went on this just I this voyage to um, to drugs to just make bad decisions. Sure, just see the other side. I've done that. I started early, and then by the time I was twenty, I stopped. Yeah, doing I was drugs. old. Uh, now I'm just kind of like been there, I do done pot, that. I take you do, pot. You like to you smoke take weed? The pot? I take pot alone. I took pot today, this afternoon. And I just went on a vision quest, and I wrote some jokes, and I took a nap. All right, and so I you it out. you definitely have a secret <laughs> with marijuana because you won't smoke it in front of it. So no. you, do you like suck your thumb and like cry when you like? There, there's there's definitely do. a secret here when you. Uh, <laughs> Why do you guys find that hot? A girl sucking in their, their thumb. Why? It's yeah, because it makes it look like a little baby. Like I'm like coach at Penn State. Band. Who's getting all topical in <laughs> wow. here? Red band took it somewhere else. Too wow. soon. Too soon. Meow. 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 Too soon. Wait, what's in that one? Let me. Let me. Is there any chocolate situationals in there? Oh, of course there is. Okay. Thanks, okay. buddy. Okay. Okay. Oh. So, so let me ask you this, Sam Tripoli. How many times? What's the most you've ever made a girl come? Oh, <laughs> straight to the heart Let's of it. Let's do it. Let's I do used, it. I used to have a girl that I could. Oh, she would just. She was a squirter. What you really, really had one? Yeah, I had a squirter. But was it was it pee or was it really like you know? Come I on mean, now. as far as I could tell, it was squirting. I did. I I would really. I I don't feel that she would have any need to pee in the bed. I just don't feel like there would be any benefit. Okay. To anybody, okay. and maybe I'm wrong. I I just never woke up the next day and like, why are these sheets so yellow all of a sudden? Is it you know? yellow? <laughs> is it? It's not peep though. It's not. But yeah. What is it? Was it just like when she? No, but my, was I don't think she lot? peed. It just would became a flood down there, and I felt like I was like. No, it's not pee, but like there is a lot of controversy on it. Like there is like I guess they've te- tested it, and there is like things of pee in it, but it's not. Pee. It's like some weird explosion orgasm thing where it's like there is something to that. Things of discharge, pee. right? Like things isn't of it? Pee. Christina. <laughs> Who was of pee. Was this a girl? In, <laughs> hey Sam, was this a girl in high school or was no, this college? College. Yeah. Wow. How, but it, it's hot, right? Like my yeah, first, my hot, first squirter fu- was in college, and no. I, I thought it was hot as fuck. And after I broke up with her, that's the one thing I always thought of. Like oh, I can't no, wait to go right. back to that, like a squirter. That was just so hot when she felt like she exploded. She was happy. But the first time it happened to, no, I'm good, thank you. The first time that you, that she squirted, were you like, what the fuck is going on? Or yeah, did, was it in I the was. popular vernacular at that time? No, I don't think it was. I don't think any. You know, the big. Uh, the uh, big girl squirting controversy of 2007 <laughs> hadn't really exploded <laughs> on the scene yet, see, yeah. so it was kind of like underground at that point. Yeah. And I didn't know. All I knew is that, and, and maybe she, I, I'd be honest with you, if she's put on a show, I love it because it made me feel good. But she would lock me down like jujitsu, wow. and then there would oh, she, oh, oh no, no, shit just Brody got Stevens. serious in here. Oh Woo! my God! Positive Mr. Energy. IMDb himself just yeah. walked in. Did you? Did you feel the positive energy? Uh, sit down and grab that orange mic right oh, there. I'm so uh, excited. Oh, sweet. Justin, yes. have you ever met the the man, the myth, oh. the legend? This is the president of show business. <laughs> <laughs> he makes people. He breaks people. Two, one, three. Welcome, Brody. Wow. Yeah. Great to be here. Great surprise. Felicia. I'm so happy to Brody, see you. Brody, you look so good. Look well, at you. Well, I've been uh, exercising. I, hey, uh, lift, it, get, lift it up like this, not like your boyfriend's dick. Just what do you lift mean? it I up. i got to keep it clean. I can't do that. I can't talk like I have to. I'm Brody, doing what kind shows. of exercises do you do? I'm doing kid shows. Got to keep it clean. They'll, they'll get you for anything now. They're looking to take anybody down. They could say that statement right there. Brody, you're talking about a penis in your face? That's wrong. I don't have the power of Ashton Kutcher. They'll bring me down. <laughs> Brody, what did you do for your exercise regimen today? Spun bike. 
and <laughs> I did the, tense. Um, did the trampoline, yeah. some trampoline work. Okay. Thank you, Sam. You just, you just wanted that, to move something big and black face, in front of two, Brody's two, mouth. Check, Come on, check, Sam. Two, Come on. Two, wow. Oh, there this, you is, go. this is the best dad yeah. squad group ever. Wow. Two, two. Check, check. Yeah, I like this. This is Everybody's my here. All the favorites. So if all you guys are tuning in from just only knowing the Joe Rogan experience, we have a couple. We have three podcasts here from the Death Squad uh, Studios, which is what we are. And this is the, yes. our newest podcast, Ice House uh, Confidential. And this is Brody Stevens has Brody yeah. Esther. Christina has... Has Steven, your mom's Brody, house, Steven. with Tom Segura, and of course Sam has the very famous Naughty Show podcast. The next week we're going to have. Are you, are, did you, is Nikki Benz? Is it? Are you yeah, allowed to say? No, no. Next week is. Uh, I uh, we have a couple girls. I want to make girls. sure you get their names correctly. Oh, okay. The following week we have uh, the Pounds Pet of the Year, Nikki Benz, and nice. Michael Connell's going to come here uh, and shred. Oh, oh wow. big Michael Go- Michael like Connell fan. Nikki so. Benz, Nikki she's Benz. pretty. Uh, she's pretty popular. Pretty good looking. She's. But yeah, she's the uh, penthouse pet of the world. Wow. Yeah, wow. But she wow. and she does regular TV also. Yeah, she's on like legit TV. Yeah, also. she's sure. legitimate. Really, is she there? is. And she's hot. Yeah, she is hot, and she's cool as hell. Like legit TV, like at a Red Roof Inn at four a.m. on Channel yeah. Thirty Seven. No, that's not. That, she not was on that. Fox Sports. That's Sports Center, oh, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She does have that. Sports. Does she have a boyfriend or, or something or married? Are you interested? We can no, look I'm it just, up. I'm more curious. I can I'm, tell by the look in your eyes. You, <laughs> you're hungry like the wolf. Maybe I can make <laughs> that. Happen. No, it was a little aggressive, Brody. It was a little aggressive. Would you agree with that? Do you <laughs> see was, that? I was like put off and attracted at the yeah. same time. Okay. No, I'm not looking to date. Chicks kind of dig the rapey vibe, bro. Okay. It's kind of that tab. Boo thing they don't talk about like the controversy of 2007 the, uh, <laughs> of the squirter yeah the squirter you ever had a squirter oh you can't talk about this uh, I don't think I may I don't know oh, oh all of a sudden he's hoping to talk about it maybe there's a story we gotta hear about no there, I, there there's no story I just don't I may not have noticed you're working on a kids show <laughs> you, you would notice you would right? notice it's like suddenly you're canoeing alright I guess yeah. it didn't happen <laughs> Kind of, you know, I'll, I still have more time. Have uh, you ever made a woman orgasm, in your opinion? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've been with chicks, Sam. I've been with uh, dude. That's no doubt, bro. Nobody's doubting that. I would never doubt that. I've just put my energy into like me the last ten years, and you okay. deserve it. And then it will oh, be easier, Brody, because I'm, I'm, you know, different looking. Go ahead, go Brody. Ahead, have you ever had a girlfriend? Yeah, I've dated girls for like three month periods at a time. But that's, I mean, a girlfriend, a long term monogamous committed situation. For like three months. Kelly Kirsten, mm-hmm. right? For 17 months. Kelly Clarkson? Kelly Kirkson. You dated Kelly who Kirsten? Is. Who's that? No. No, that comedian? No, I didn't. No, no. she's cool. I don't want to make it sound like a. You know. I've been with some girls that you may or may not know, but it's just like I'm focusing on me. Okay. And uh, thank God for you, porn. I, I, I buy into the. <laughs> pres- I have the. I pay up for the paid. I don't so. pay. I get five free a day. And I get the it. paid version. Do you do that? You do the free stuff? I tell my But phone. girls get in, get out. You guys are diddlers. You get it back, you get out. You know? I know what I'm in. For. You light the candles, you release the doves, it's done. <laughs> Get How in, did you get know? Out. Hey Brody, so it's good that, to see you. Uh, did you uh, just happen to stop by? Like, where you did? Yeah. You have any sets tonight, or yeah. you have? No, any- I did. I went up at a one of these marijuana houses. I don't do that kind of stuff, but they have a big backyard there, and there's a bunch of kids. Oh, that's cool. I did the show. You like there. to do underground fun. shows? You like Fight Club? Yeah, but this one was actually a John Cheeser production. So oh, he cool. was there. Sandy Danto was He's there. He's a really nice, uh, co- really funny guy, guy. Nice guy from the Comedy Store. Cool. Yeah. Originally from the Kansas. The city area John so i went down there i did like 15 school. 20 minutes it was fun my, i'm working on my persona my point of view i've got some good possibilities and just got to take action before uh israel attacks iran felicia you, have you ever met brody before yeah yes i uh, love brody Brody's would you awesome. ever go to the olive garden with brody i definitely would i'd, I'd cut olive his meat garden from- is that how I feel about Brody? Why, what? <laughs> I, what's wrong with the olive garden there's nothing wrong with the olive garden i love the olive garden. is that your favorite place to eat no, but I've been there. What was your favorite? Place what would you in the say about the Olive Garden? Would you? What would you review it as? Like in general? It's fun. About you know. How important are endless breadsticks to you? <laughs> <laughs> and like salad. Impo- no, and said, salad. Yeah, the salad. I mean, the last time I was here, I think I said I went to the Olive Garden after my mom and I went once the night we killed Bin Laden oh. to celebrate. Oh, that's oh, right. You, I yeah, celebrated you, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I, I went to the Olive play. Garden also. Dude, none says freedom like the endless pasta right. bowl. But it wasn't. The service wasn't very good. The food wasn't. You know. <laughs> The service wasn't very good. Usually they no. have great service there. That's what they're known for. The service wasn't that good. Oh. Oh. We just ate sushi today, Did- me and the president of uh, show business. We went over here to the sushi place. 
and the guy was no. horrible service. Oh. And they were just talking, and they hurt. Like, Asian dudes are really angry, bro. Did They're you like, yelp it so. first? Did you yelp it at all? Did you even no, yeah. just, you I gotta was yelp here. it. You told me we got half I would an hour. yelp. You got yeah, it. you have you to yelp. yelp when you're right here. Yes. Like, you uh, have yeah. to yelp anywhere you go. I yelp go. everything. I yelp yeah. absolutely. Uh, I don't massages. trust Yelp. I don't oh, trust I, I Yelp. Trust Girl, it. I contribute I to Yelp. Really? I help other people. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm a Yelp. Yeah. I used to be a Yelp elite, yeah. but I got thrown like out being for a, doing too, yeah. being too honest. Being Yelp the biggest like, one is Yelp the best one of those, or the uh, mm, you know Annie's book. There's like I don't know. Anytime you give anybody power to write something negative, I hate that too. I don't like that. Motherfuckers. I will only listen to it if it says their real name on there That's if they're willing to put the real name you up you have to to be a yelp leader a yelp leader uh, yeah you have to put your what is that like my <laughs> original name is Red eagle Band. scout is that like an eagle scout yeah it's yeah. like being Cooper. an eagle scout wait first and last because i just do christina p no um, I, I i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily take it if you're willing okay. to put up your real name that means you're not afraid of uh, Defending your opinion and confrontation. By Sam. the way, I think the internet should get to the point where, when you're born, you get your social security number and your fucking email, and you, that's the only oh. thing you have to use so that oh, you can't go. Oh Yeah, and you can't go on and just write the neocons anonymous are shit. Interesting. But they're going to come up with a, a separate account. You're saying it, make it a separate account as hard as getting a new social security that's number, right. which isn't easy yeah. unless you're downtown. You know what they should do, and if you have kids, yeah, you should tell them. They should have a fake name for the internet. That's what they're saying now. That's smart. You should have not like, not like, you know, like, like, or like, right, like, Xbox you're talking about like, 950, Red but like, yeah, like Red, Ryan, Band Red Band or Band. like, yeah, I fucked mm -hmm. up and I just went with my real name. Yeah, you don't do that. No, you, why yeah. would you do that? Yeah, because I fucked up. You don't want to do that when you're 55 and you So get you just a real cancel job. your <laughs> So you just That's cancel it. That's not happening. <laughs> Sam, you need to reinvent yeah. yourself. But can't you just cancel it? About. Like, what do you want? Like, how could your name's on, a, a, attached with certain things? Just attached with like my naughty show and stuff. Stuff like that. You, your but alternative that, comic, you, your alternative guy. You yeah. need to have. You need to go with that guy. Alternative Sam. Yeah. What, why are they telling that. kids to have a, a separate one again? Because these kids, they're like they're growing with the internet and right. they're making decisions uh -huh. that might hurt them in the long run. Right. Gotcha. Like uh, you know, like maybe they're showing taking pictures of themselves naked, sending it to somebody. Well, that's gonna that could stay with them for a long time. Right. And yeah. Or they say some stuff on the internet in a YouTube video that maybe later on they realize was quite childish, but that could stick with them for a long Don't time. Don't you think like the more people do that because they are growing up and it's saturated that it's kind of like, who cares? Ten, 10 million other kids are doing the same thing. I mean, Well, I would like that, but there's job employers. I yeah, mean, like that's you Google thing. your shit. Seriously. I mean, if you're up for a commercial or anything like yeah. that, they'll Google that shit. They'll be like, Google, what's, what, what's he been doing? And they'll be like, oh, then I'm fucked. Can, I'm fucked. I went to the UCLA site well, for you, 17 days. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But, but Felicia saw me you the can day cuss, I came out. Brody, Whoa, you can cuss that? then. No, I'm not. I, what do you mean? You can start cussing like crazy. I don't think, I think that's, uh, I think it's a, I don't, can't, I wouldn't cuss around 10 year olds. I, I did one time. And I felt horrible about it. I did uh, one of those summer camp shows at the Improv. Oh, we hate that. Person's not respected. That's in comedy. Oh, well, she's my just opinion. talking about that. It's not respected. I don't think. I mean, it's a. Uh, I could be wrong. I, I have say, curved Felicia, my language. Wrong? My problem was is I talk how I really talk on yeah, stage. Yeah, you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, I can't stop it. Yeah. But what you're saying is correct, so I try to you pull the abs. You can say the most horrific, filthy stuff if you great. just don't say fuck. And smile. That's my yeah. biggest oh, thing. Yeah. I've learned to smile on stage. Yeah. I do not let... Because I can get a very serious... I got that those weird... I have weird Armo eyes. Yeah, you do. Where the angry Armenians like, you pay your debt now or else I no drive you. You know? Totally. I get that angry look. Yeah, they yeah. like water up and turn red. Yeah, they do. It's like, you know, weird... You know, weird but wolves. if you're a great comedian, you own it. You know, you got to really just go for it. You're going for it. I'm, go I'm always going for it, dude. I'm all in, bro. I'm teen wolfing this shit. So when you're all in, I, I feel like... Who cares what they find of you? I'd only be. I'd only want things taken down. They're like make me cringe, not that we're oh, offensive. Everything makes me cringe. Yeah. I hate everything I've ever done. Like Christ. I can't watch myself. There's a, I was on Star Search and there's a video Shut on YouTube up. and it was. It's like the most. And like when I watch it, because I'm like, because I was like 21 years old. It's like the most horrific shit. What was Star Search like? Was it with Ed McMahon? It was with Ed McMahon. What were the Coke parties what? like afterwards? Well, here's it. <laughs> yeah, those man. chips are really good. <laughs> 
the thing about star search is, is uh, uh, they would put everyone in a big cafeteria as a dressing room, but the spokesmodels had their own <gasps> oh, dressing cool. room right next to Ed McMahon. And Those there was a girl. Remember you deserved the it. Cherry Pie video? Remember that? Yeah. yeah. There, was, uh, there was a girl from that video. The Bobby blonde, Brown. That, she was so pretty. She I was really pretty, That's and she was one of the model spokes. People oh. and uh, and when it was came to the finals uh, and she was up there doing her model spokes thing and she fucked up the line and she paused and you could tell she was waiting for them uh -oh. to reset the ca the cameras and Ed McMahon got all uncomfortable and and then finally he goes <clears throat> I would like to remind everyone that this is a live competition <gasps> oh. and, she, and she was like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. oh yeah you just felt bad you just felt but he's a great bad. he's a great guy Ed McMahon he was, was a, a great really, guy. but yeah, and he was Really powerful nice enough to pause live television. That's how big he was. <laughs> you he has hand today. in everything. He, he could stop time, readjust <laughs> that thing. And that's what she's like. Oh, he'll save me. Yeah, yeah. It was her it was daughter's hot there. too. Like she had her daughter's like 21, 22, The guy who just passed Sorry away. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, I would. I would like to say that this is the video that I will always think back. Like shit, this is out there. I I, I can never go back. It's me doing Salvia and turning oh, into a complete no. retard. Oh, let me. See. But let's uh, watch it. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, it only has 400,000 views. <laughs> Brody, move your big yeah. head. Have you guys ever seen That's the Ari do it? Have you seen the Ari? No, I, I can't imagine that anybody wants to do wow. this drug. It looks terrible. It's horrible. It, it, it looks better on that computer. Oh, does it? I can't really see. This what is that? Like? I mean, I've done acid. Is is acid? Isn't acid worse than I've this never shit? done that. I don't want to do it. Oh, this looks horrifying. It, yeah, it's, that I'm terrible. like. I did shrooms with uh, Red Band a little while ago. It did not go well. Why? What happened? It wasn't like this, though. Oh, dear. I was doing shrooms. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Brian. Oh, no. What's happening right now? Uh, I... I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, right here, no. I, uh, I pretty much thought I was on a water slide. And then uh, I fall to the ground, and my face comes one with the uh, That's ground. Not good. And then I start drooling a lot. How you and, uh, Call the paramedics. <laughs> Nine one one. Come on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait a second. Wow. Me, kid. Wait, why is this still up? If you're embarrassed about yeah. it, yeah. Because it's something that. Needs to be out there so that kids. Be offended by the, uh, yeah, yeah. No, this is, no, no I, I have one of the very few jobs that I, I am told that I have to smoke <laughs> marijuana or I'm fired. Look Can you find us? No. Just kidding. Aww. Good job. What are you talking about? You're good. That's You're terrible. good. Just that voice is T from uh, T and okay. E. And Can you find show. Ari's too? Looks terrible. That's terrible. Watch Ari's is yeah. crazy. Watch, I turn into okay. a. I start. Oh, okay. help, I'm like, help me, help me, <laughs> help me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Were you about? like dizzy? Were oh, you looks like? Terrible. No, I, my, I thought my face was gone. <laughs> I thought I tore my face you're off because it was on good, the ground. So you're saying the party's rocking? Look, listen. Are you? Are you, are you talking about my feeling? face? Watch, I say, are you talking about my face? We good, dude. With me? Yeah, you alright? Help me, grab me. You okay? Grab me, Dave. You okay? It's like oh a movie. You're talking about? You're good, buddy. You'll be good. I love how the camera's still rolling. What's up? Help me. You're okay, man. You're okay. You're okay. You're talking about me? I'm right here, baby. That's terrible. You're good, man. How long does this my last? Did you guys guess I want my face right there. How long does it last? Uh, Like five to eight minutes. It's like it's, Rollback uh, Mountain. If you do it Deleted right, scenes. if you do it right, you can totally Is this out of the body. Audition tape for, uh, How many times have you mom? done it? Like three times. What was and that? it's just mint leaves, and then you can buy it legally at a regular store. What, what was that again? A five-hour interview you shot? <laughs> five, no, it's, it was like five to eight minutes. Show them Ari's. How long it would be? That's All terrible. right, we'll show Ari's. We did it live on a Naughty Show podcast on the Desk Squad. So let's turn. It just looks like panic and chaos. Ari, what do you think of the new studio? You didn't say. Is this your first time in it? Or did you do a show? I'm, I'm uh, Brody. Call me Ari, but I don't. Yeah. Oh, bro, it's the Jewish thing. Sorry. About I like that. it. I was here last week. I yeah. like it. He I'm eating these party. candies, and I, I don't do, try. One thing we gotta do, uh, Red Band, we gotta lock this table down. It's very. Uh, yeah. It's like on roller it's skates. Because right I still haven't figured it's out. Like it I haven't yet. figured out camera angles here. If you haven't oh, noticed. Yeah, I oh see. my God! Here we go, Ari. Good. 
Oh, no. Now, here's the thing about Red Band. Watch this. I'm so scared of that. It's going to be a big, come on. You guys are like, he hits it. Okay, he hits it. I think that you're high. Okay. He already hit it once. Now he just hit it again. You didn't clear it, though. You didn't clear it. You don't know how to use a bomb, Mario. Not when you're shoving a lip. Breathe out and take that hit. Exhale. Now I'm helping. I didn't realize that. Sam, stop trying to be the enemy. Oh, now he took a second. Oh, fuck. Of course he did. Salvia either works or it doesn't. So if Ari takes a hit of it and he's still sitting there, then it's not working. So he has to hit it again. That's the point of Salvia going into that other world. Oh, no. He doesn't look good right now. Hold it. Just hold it. Because if he. <laughs> Watch uh -oh. this. You just see uh -oh. it hit. There it is. There it goes. Goodbye. Yeah. I only feel worse for Sam Triple A. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what that means. Oh, I feel weird for you. What? Teen <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I love that Teen Wolf felt snuggling. like advertising on yeah. our, our drug trip. No. Uh, yeah. He's still holding. Well, no, I like, think he's sleeping or he's dead. But Brian, do you have I can't thoughts? Tell what's going on here. Yeah. What are you thinking about when you're this fucked up? <laughs> There's always a bus. That's what I've learned. Everybody's a done bus? it. There's always a bus. Somebody school bus. Dude, school, bus. Right, guys. school bus. Water. Stop. And uh, twirling and spinning. Oh and fuck that. Does it feel, no, like like does it rolling. Feel good? Rolling. It doesn't feel good. It feels familiar. It feels like, oh, I've felt this before. Maybe during birth. It's maybe like going to an in the. So it hurts? No, does it, it doesn't. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't. Like? No, it doesn't hurt. It's all very familiar and uh, uh, out of this world. It's like going into an alien world so for five minutes. Up. Oh, he's totally fucked up. Look uh, at him. Grab him. Have you ever done a lot of acid? <laughs> like you died. Just, just taking my nap. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, I hate being this Somebody high. Somebody call him. <laughs> Don't take him out. Please do it, please. I'm not joking. I'm not serious. I'm not joking. Uh, I'm not joking. Well, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure he doesn't stand up because it's you shouldn't like, stand up when you're on Salvia. Have you ever you're had a friend? Sorry, you're, you're fine, buddy. You're fine. You're fine. It's like locking down a fucking... Oh, shit. 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 Alright, please. Oh, oh my gosh. Alright, you're okay, buddy. Alright, you're alright. All right. Hey. Oh my god. Yeah, I say it's for sitting on Stop, 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 stop. Please don't. Please, don't. please help me. I know. I'm not a good place. Please help me. It's terrible. Please stop. Please stop. Stop yelling. Stop yelling. Stop helping. Help me. Please don't blame me. Please help me get up right now. Alright, you're fine. Look at this gentle embrace. You're fine. You're fine. Look at me. I have to correct him. Please fuck me. Okay, here. Yeah, here. Oh, this is like when everybody was wow. doing GHB. You remember GHB? Like, why would you take that one? I, uh, it just made you feel I was shrooming oh, in Donald Vegas like a little while ago. And I was shrooming. I'm yeah. full okay. into it. We bust this bartender trying to rip us off for drinks. Mm. And I just go... Uh, it just turned my trip from fucking fun to just... I started tripping, and I couldn't stop it. Mm. And I was just, like, going off on this bartender. And my friend, who wasn't tripping, pulled me aside. He goes, what's wrong? I go, dude, this guy ripped me off. I'm flipping out way too hard. I'm way fucked up. I'm going to... That's what happened to me on Twitter. I'm the... F <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, the I'm the first guy to ever bounce himself out of a fucking casino. You I'm know, like, I got to go outside. And I just stood outside. And I'm just like, dude, I am fucked up. But I when don't, you're, I don't like being this out of control. Yeah, I That's don't like that. Too Isn't just pot yeah. good enough? Yeah, yeah, pot's great. Just leave it at that. Pot yeah. and uh, Seroquel and Depakote. <laughs> <laughs> What's Depakote? Is that like hell? lithium. Oh, wow. Are you taking that? Yeah, but my my yes, my meds have been lowered probably fifty percent since you saw me that day. Yeah, you look Please great, run. Brody. You look great. Yeah. Did I look better or the same then? Brody, no, you look better. Let me tell you oh, this. Oh, really? Yeah. By lowering no, I was it 50%, yeah, you were, yeah. you, you're one to 99% now. Yeah. One to 99%ers? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You're I'm happy that you're kicking ass and, uh, you know, that you're back whooping ass. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Sam. You know, it was hard at first getting back up, but uh, I got off Lexapro. That's all. It was no, like, breakdown. I actually got sick in Canada. People know this by now. I got sick in Montreal and took antibiotics. I have a book coming out about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing an authorized biography of the Brody Stevens. Twitter, and, and I was... <laughs> And I was uh, I was feeling good. I was celebrating. This like was probably out of character, but it was like no Lexapro, and all these things were happening at one time. And I was feeling good, so it was like euphoria, manic. Well, but no, I was not suicidal or homicidal. Please, no, nobody said that. Some people did. 
Oh, look at the police report. I'll show it to you. Yeah. Well, the police. I, I mean, my Tom opinion. Arnold said it. What? No. You might know. Zach like, Efron and Tom Arnold both it came out. So. Hey, stop. That's silly. Uh, sometimes when what people, happened to Zach Efron? Uh, he's he adorable. just kind of like I think got over it. Did he? He didn't die. So there's like rumors that he he, be, he came out of the closet and then like died. Is he like, da- is he dating Clay Aikens? Yes. Oh. Kidding. No. Ryan Seacrest. Are you guys Girl. as grown women? Are you attracted to Justin Bieber? I find no. this amazing when women no. over twenty, which you guys barely are. Are Thank attracted you, to Justin Bieber? No, no, no way. He's look. A, he looks like Hillary Swank. He's he looks yeah. like a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. He's, he's adorable. He's a little he's cute, but he's, he's a little l- baby, little yeah. boy. You yeah. see that ESPYS award where the, like the Vaughn, the downhill skier chick, was like, "Will you please take a picture with me?" For I'm like, she's married. I'm like, as a husband, I'm like, I am married to a pedophile. Yeah. Well, yeah. when I was 12 and 13, I had a crush on Robert Smith from The Cure. Oh. So did I. Oh, okay. and like the guy from the Clash, <laughs> Joe Strummer. You know, like I oh, like, really? I, like dudes. Yeah, I, I like dudes. I like dudes. I like dudes. I always cool like dudes. I always like dudes. Be like I kind of crush half, eight uh, milk. Dud. I don't even like guys that work out a lot. I, I find it effeminate. Yeah. Um. Not you, Brody. You're an. Oh, I want like guys. I have heart disease shape. in my family. I have to exercise. You no, don't you like look uh, amazing. gay you shape. On. Guys are in gay shape. That's exactly it. That's totally the word for it. I was talking to Roddy Piper about why I hate. <laughs> wrestling now. It's like all yeah, the guys gay are in gay shape. shape. You're right. I, I miss the old shape? days when the wrestlers right. were built like your dad. Yeah. Come, remember? The I don't know if pudgy, your dad did this, yeah, yeah. but my, my dad, when he'd get angry at us, come, he'd just he'd get right out of bed. He'd be in his little <laughs> boxer. He'd come out and just be like, oh, I'll start kicking everybody's ass. And then yeah. he'd turn on television. That's exactly how Sergeant Slaughter looked. Right. Exactly how like, they weren't like ripped abs. Well, and porn stars. I like them like Ron Jeremy because I grew up with Ron Jeremy. Fat, hairy, bloated, distended mess. Do some girls like and that today. Or I they do? love so him. You're one of them. And to this day, it's stuck with me sexually because that's the first pornography I was exposed to. And I just, that's my thing. I like Here's them. My theory what about on any that? girl? Oh, Big boy, and right. hairy, manly. Here's my theory on that. Yeah. That because on television, all the guys are of questionable sexuality. This yeah. is just uh-huh. my thing. Uh-huh. That girls date those guys at first. Yes, when and you're then 12. Out of nowhere. Some caveman comes through. Hello. Like some knuckle it. dragon, <laughs> tattoo, point. doesn't fucking shave, yeah. and just caveman fucks. Yeah. And they're like, it's whoa, the it's the best. this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I'm not the only one crying right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a man. You know, it's like. Yeah. It's I just, like it. My husband's do. a pig. He's I a real pig guy. man, and I like a pig yeah. man. I don't like these fey fucking manicured, you know, eyebrows tweezed, <laughs> flip flops and jeans. Fuck off. It's not masculine. It's not sexy. I don't so like it. So there's a lot it. of chicks out there like that. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Facebook I don't know. That. Most I'm that of them. Guy. I'm that guy. The young girls like the guys that they see on <laughs> television. Like the, the girls in like the, the high school girls and the college girls. They like those guys they see on television. Right. Crystal Lee. Yeah. Perfect. Well, yeah. Well, we love furry. Chris. We love Chris. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't but, shave. But but when you're when you're 12 and 13, like I had a crush on Ricky Schroeder. You did, yeah, yeah. because oh, that's, wow. that's I, 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 we had a podcast Richie with him, Rick. and it was <gasps> the most coolest the thing ever. It, it, he is like uh, friends with Joe. No, yeah. the Ricker? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't look, he didn't age well, though. Him and Anthony Michael Hall did oh, not Oh, no, he's age really well. cool. Anthony Michael Hall went crazy. He's got he's the thick no, neck. No, he attacked the... my friend. What? He's an asshole. What? Yeah, my friend was the one I that. I tell him that to when his face. I Anthony Michael, yeah. Michael's not. He was not a comedy I don't know if I'm allowed to you say You tell him, Trent. With a couple hookers, he's heckling everybody. Really? I go, dude, you haven't had a hit since Johnny B. Good. <laughs> I'm up here shredding. And you're fucking trying to stop the party? Shut your cake hole. Right. And then like two weeks later, he's in rehab or he's getting arrested. He was awesome. Wow. Like that guy was, and then just went nuts, dude. Yeah. Yo, man. But the, uh, hope, John Cusack. I hope that well, you have to be six. He at least had some good hits, you like John though. Cusack? John Cusack just kind of looks such the same. Really? John Cusack? I loved him from the John time I can remember. John Cusack? He's funny oh, on Twitter. He's adorable. He's very active uh, on and Twitter. And he likes the clash, and he's just kind of like the so dark hero. So do I. Hero. Can I ask you? <laughs> but so is he a nice I? guy? I want to know if he's a nice guy. Guys. Yeah. yeah. We all grew up on these awesome comedies. Yeah, like uh, all the Cusack comedies, oh, I love uh-huh. all Bill Murray, stuff. Bill right, Murray, good right. point. Ghostbusters, okay. get the fuck out. My theory is that those kind of adult comedies are gone away because yeah. of the internet is so far Faster. along. Yeah, 
what in terms of what they're what's funny on the internet that's hard to go from watching something on the internet to go and paying ten dollars to kind yeah. of do jokes that are like well here's the thing well, I, I, I have i have little kids point, and too. television is over television is yeah. over because it's they don't even watch television anymore they're at 10 and 12 it's all on the internet and they don't have a lot a big attention span oh yeah television YouTube's is fucking everything. over yeah it's, it's over can you keep wow. them off the internet or is that impossible it's uh my kids are on the internet you know and uh so i i i have to say i don't i i should probably supervise it more but they're pretty okay about it you know i don't let yeah. them take their computer in their room it has to be at the dining table as long as they're, yeah. they're cooking yeah. their meth at home yes easy. right that's right I, I use a safe search on yahoo <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can Me I too. tell you, I did see one movie that I actually thought harkened back to like a good time. I don't know if you saw it. Get him to the Greek. Yeah. I yeah. actually enjoyed you liked it. it. I, I, I enjoyed fucking it. liked it. It was fine, but I wouldn't buy it on DVD. Okay. I liked it. Let's I talk it was about the silly. controversy. Oh, it was is there a okay. controversy? Yes. About okay. that movie? About Squares Fat Jonah and Hill versus Thin Jonah Hill. Fat okay. Jonah Hill. Fat Jonah I like Fat Jonah, Jonah Hill. Hill. Yeah. Yeah. You Definitely. can't have that career yeah. as Thin Jonah hey, Hill. Hey, Sam, when I lost all that weight, I, I lost like like crazy amounts of weight, and I went down to 145, and I felt like I looked like I was just this crazy cancer victim or an AIDS victim or something like that. I looked like a sick Person. I'd say AIDS. I look like Carlos Mencia looks like right now, oh, unfortunately. He looks really bad. I didn't even recognize. You know, I look like that when I was that well, He's weeks lost ago. weight. He's not sick. He's just lost no, weight. He no, just lost that's weight, what I look I, like. So I, I gave it back. I didn't like, even it. recognize him. I was talking to him for two minutes before he I was like, Filipino. oh my God. That's how so he can start a new career. He is Filipino, isn't he? Isn't he? I, I saw him too. Yes, he is. Is he, he not the greatest guy? Amazing. I hear that. No, I, you know <laughs> I don't know him. I don't get involved in anything. Speaking of 2005, uh, no, I don't even I know just, him. You know what? And the, the honestly, the Hangover I felt worked because it was kind that of was in funny. head of what was coming out. Have you seen that movie, Brody? The Hangover. <laughs> I had a small part. I really? was in the Hangover. I've never you? Heard of it. you know what? I, you know what? The I'm number proud one of? comedy in the, uh, oh, ever. Wait a minute. You know what I'm proud of is that I was in the taser taser scene all day that day, and I brought the energy. I pushed that. I scene. thought you were going to talk about your Jewish heritage. You weren't. I thought you. No, were but I want to. I don't talk about that part of the Hangover. I usually talk about my line. I'm saying the second day in the taser scene, possibly the most memorable hey, scene. Can we do I something really quick energy. for the podcast? Yes. Can you reenact your scene as <gasps> oh. Justin, oh, as look at Zach this. Galifianakis? Look, look at this. And, um, you want me to do my line? You mean? Yeah, no, I want you to just, let's pretend the girls who are cuddling are the children. Yes. And you are walking <laughs> them through here. Through here. And, yeah, and you could just reenact the scene and, with the girls. Okay, and... Action. So after we take their mug shots, we bring them on down here where they wait to be questioned by the arresting officers. Trust me, kids. You don't want to be sitting on these benches. We call this place Loserville. Okay, can we try that again? Wow. Wow. Dude, that's five now. lines. That seemed too you quick. Had five yeah, that seemed too quick. Honestly, it was a little faster. It was a little faster. Right okay, bring it down Just a notch. Todd has said that. Commitment. Todd has said that to me before. Bring okay. it down on due yeah. date. And then said, another thing is, is you really <laughs> did look at Zach. Oh, you mean, oh, this, yours. This, is your real name Zach? Justin. Name's Justin. 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 He's playing Justin. Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Brody, I have to apologize. I like The Hangover as well. And I, I, I should have given that movie credit. I... I forgot. I'm just saying I felt good <laughs> working in the taser scene, Dude, giving energy, hey, hey, pumping sorry. the guys that was up. a good scene, Brady. No, just, just that can you acknowledge good. that she's being a little <laughs> he, sensitive? He invalidates right my she feelings. She didn't like the movie or did like the no, movie? No, she's I saying did. that she did, but she never publicly came out thank and you. said it. Well, that's okay. Moment. Thank you, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> thank I mean, you for it's validating. It's going to help me a little bit. In some <laughs> thank way. you for validating my feelings, Brody. Okay, but I just one time... Okay. We just Someone do finally did. Sure. <laughs> that I know. My mother hates but me. He's sitting down. I'm talking to the kids. What's with the scene. echo? Why does he sound like he's? Brian's adjusted it. I like the echo actually. I do too. Sounds I think like it Han gives Solo. you this kind of little Wayne kind of vibe when you have an echo. Yeah, it sounds like Han Solo. So I'll, I'll do the I'll do the line. I do you need the girls time? get up or are they cool sitting? No, they can sit. Come okay. on. <laughs> Turn it down. But Paris. really commit this time. I really want to. I was. I'll bring it down slower. Three. Oh, you've slowed it down. There's those chips. Those chips look great. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, so after we take their mug shots, we bring them on down here where they wait to be questioned by the arresting officers. Trust me, kids, you don't want to be sitting on these benches. We call this place Loserville. 
Wow! Bravo. 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 Even, bro. That's, right, and that's a take. Launch, you, everybody. I gave it a little beat at the end before Loser. And he gave me that line right there. He says, try that. I go, I don't know if it's that funny. But I said it. Oh, well, you And they used it in the preview. But it's a you know moment in my life. Do you feel that in some way you contributed to the amount of money you made because that was so good in the trailer that there's mm. almost a part of you that should get points on the back end. Well, I get wow. some for residuals for like direct TV, on demand, DVD stuff like that. Uh, but I was being honest. The the taser scene, I didn't have a line in it. I tried and I pushed and I did all this stuff, but I felt like my energy <laughs> created that and I did an improv with raising my hand. And yes, I feel good about that kind of I'm sure it helped. I brought the energy up of all the guys and that had to come across on camera. See, the, see, sometimes there people are funny in a room. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, right. oh, this guy kills in a comedy club. But when you see them on TV, the comedy doesn't come through the tube. That That's could be my me. Opinion. That could be I, me. No, with you, it came through, it dude. Did. It did? Yeah. It did. I felt it in the room here, yeah. and I felt it when well, I watched it I have there. confidence here, but I don't know. When, and by I mean, the way, I saw that in the movie theaters three times. Each time I felt it. Wow. Thank you. Wow. wow. That, that's Sam hard. I, you know what, Sam? His wow. feelings. Sam, I just felt that. I just felt you. Because uh, to be honest, I don't feel good about it. I mean, it's cool to be associated with it, but it's not. Yeah, I guys, crushed guys, that scene. I have an announcement. Go ahead. Is I that Felicia or Christina? I, I, I think we all go. got to pee. I got to pee out of my pee hole, okay? Have to go. I, have I don't to have to pee. It'd be Baby weird if you peed out your ear hole. I got to push real hard when I do it. I don't way. need to pee. I can go I, all night. I don't have to pee either. I got to pee, uh, do you guys. Want the girls I got to go. Jump on, I, I gotta, she should just I gotta, moan I gotta, and say she's a squirter. Justin's got to get all right. home. He's got some kids. All right. Justin has been a great sport, Mr. Showbiz. Justin runs show business. I'm saying you had a good Good show. I was like showcasing for him. Do you, have a, do you have a headshot with you right now? You can give it to him? I went out in my car. 11 by 17 laminated headshot. <laughs> Boom. I've had that joke forever. I, I mean, I have so many jokes. I just don't you know, My change. opinion is why write more when the ones you got work? Nice. Yeah, but it's, I need more material. Nice. I wrote uh, that, that cheeser show tonight was good. I actually wrote some. I think I wrote some stuff on stage. I tape most of my sets. I just got to go back and listen to them. That's the, that's the key. Okay. All right. Well, we, uh, I, I don't know Thank what you. Red Band's plans are right now with this podcast. Uh, is, this, is, it, uh, is this a telephone? We're waiting for Joe Rogan to get off stage, so we're going to continue this all night with Brody Stevens. Oh, Se shit, bro. Whoa. And uh, we have a special oh. guest coming uh, also. I don't know if you know. Joey Diaz? Uh, no. Al Madriel? No. Jason Tebow? No. <laughs> uh, Daniel Stewart? Ari Shafir? <laughs> no. Little Esther? Veronica Ricci? No. Well, yeah. And somebody else? Her sister. No. Um, uh, Jesus? Huh? I can't think who. Joey Diaz. Yes, I said you Joey Diaz. Said Joey. I said you Joey. Oh, I, this is the worst. Oh, you ruined it, Brian. Oh, God, imagine yeah. this. That's what Jeopardy would be like with Alex Trebek if he was high as fuck the whole time. Brody, can I tell you a story about when I saw you at Floyd's Barbershop? Sure, yeah. Um, so uh, I was taking my kids uh, before school started to get their hair cut, and uh, we were a little bit early for our, our appointment, so we went next door to the crepe shop. I didn't even I didn't know Brody was uh, getting his hair cut. And we're in the crepe shop, which is dead. It's my mm -hmm. kids and me, and I see Zach Galifianakis. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so I, one time about five years ago, was at some Hollywood party when I was married to uh, my husband at the time, and I had some drinks. And uh, I don't know what got into me, but uh, Zach kind of walked by the table, and uh, I had known, I had met him a couple times in New York, but mm -hmm. uh, he, I don't, I don't know, I was just really drunk, but I felt I was kind of rude to Zach, you know? And, uh, and afterwards, like, it, like I always thought about it. Every time I'd see him on TV, like, God, I was really a fucking bitch to him and I was being all drunkies. So I thought to myself, when I see him in the crate shop, I'm like, this is, because I always thought if I ever see him, I'm going to apologize. So I see him in the crepe shop, mm -hmm. and I go up to him, and I go, Zach, you know, I was really drunk once at a party, and I kind of was rude to you, and I just wanted to apologize. But my kids were there. I didn't say, like, drunk, but I'd had some drinks yeah. and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and I always thought to myself I would apologize to you. 
And, uh, and he looks at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And my <laughs> kids looked at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Is that Galifianakis? Did he know you when you walked in the crepe shop? Oh, yeah. He oh, totally so knew. Always, yeah, been, yeah he, he totally knew it. Was know, this the first time you, or you never got a chance to tell him about that first I never time. got a chance to say, um, to give him my apology. And, uh, and then he was like, okay, all right, whatever. And he walked off and pretended to be on his phone for 20 minutes as my kids ate their crepes. And then it was so awkward. I couldn't even look over there because I was like, God, I'm such an asshole. And then I went next door and took my kids and you were there. And then it made sense that that's why he was at the crepe shop. But I've done that before. I felt like such, I, like, I felt like a dick for being like, drunk in the you're first like, place. like, oh my God, if I see this person, a, yeah. I gotta, I gotta let them know. And I didn't make it better. And I didn't make it better. Do you want me to ask him about that? No, he doesn't even remember. Well, I'll make him. That was a no. very special day. I got are out you, of the How are you guys doing? I got out of the hospital cool? that day. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys cool? Let me check the internet. I don't know. No, I'm cool with Zach. He's been very good. I feel like, again, uh, I got off Lexapro. I went on <laughs> antibiotics. I was celebrating. I hosted TMZ. I was happy. Yes, I may have been manic, but never aggressive. And I just felt that cops didn't have to get called. They I feel like pro- Lindsay Lohan have said, has said those exact same She's, words at some point. I would have stopped. Got it. off Lexapro. Right, but nobody brought that up to me. If you said, Brody, let me come, let me meet you at uh, Quiznos or Chipotle and then talk to me, and then you would see. These people were calling me and texting, not physically seeing me. So I felt like if you came and you saw Brody's fine, he's not slitting his wrist, he's not angry, he is off his Lexapro, and we're going to go to CVS tomorrow <laughs> Back to normal. Thank you. But it turned into let's call the cops a second time. Ari, while I'm in I mean, the sh- my name is Brody. Stephen Brody, Brody do you think <laughs> do you think if do you think if Lexapro saw you in a crepe shop that they would be awkward and want to like, kind of apologize for? The I witness? need to apologize to the the makers of Lexapro for not uh, you know un- not paying attention to their. Oh shit! Oh, here he goes. Uh, Joey Diaz, everybody. Uh, Come over here, Mr. Diaz. Joey, you have uh, Joey. I have this couch for you right here, or this chair right here for you. I'm all right. Though. Joey Diaz is here. This could be the greatest meeting up ever, Brody Stevens oh and Joey God. Diaz. This could be. Oh yeah, what's gonna happen now? Shit. Two months, I don't see. You. All right, dude. I got a jam. Oh, yeah, no, I'm wait. gonna go hang out a little bit with jo- hang out with a little bit with Joey Diaz. My buddy I'm is tired. he's. Bye, mommies. Justin. It was good seeing you guys. Good sport. Good fun. energy. Brought good energy to the room. Positive energy, everybody. How'd it go in there? Did you get uh, eight, three HBO deals? <laughs> He's going to pee out of his pee hole, too. All right. Show this. Brian, you, can I take a uh, three, five-minute break? You want me to stay right here? No, you can. You tell me. Thanks, buddy. Big bucks. No I can stay right here. I... I could stay right here. He loved it. I didn't like it. Whatever you want me to do. Joey Diaz is in the building. Steven, Brody Steven. Sam, you're great at this. Good. We got some good points, good help, good moments. Where are you girls going? Together? Yeah. The energy of the room is going to change. You guys going to pee? The energy of the room is going to change. Positive Uh, energy. What's up, Brody Stevens? I love you with all my heart, dog. I ask about you all the time. From the bottom, I'm not one of these okie doke motherfuckers either. You know what I saw today? Hung out with Who? Todd Sawyer. Me, too. you know he's been calling me lately. He wants to hang out. He lives up in the valley now, and yeah, it's good I... fucking kid, man. Bye, he's trying to get together a podcast and stuff. And Bye, I don't know. They're hey, not, beautiful. They're not easy. Get hello to your husband for me, sexy. Hey, Christina. I should say that. Adjustments to him. here. Let me get a smoke, dog. You're holding on on me. Where's the reefer? Triple smoked it all. The cocksucker that he is and shit. What's up, B. Stevens? I drove out here. I, I, I follow you guys on Twitter. I saw that there was a podcast going on at the Ice House. I took the 10 to the 5 to the 134. I made it. I didn't do that 110 get off and go surface street. Made it here. Followed my instincts. And uh, had a good time. They let me go on. I didn't expect to go on. I wasn't coming here to go on, but I thought it could be Does a possibility. Does your instinct sound like a GPS? Yes. Please drive positively. Positive turn. Let them in. Bro, uh, your family here. You're always welcome. Whatever you're Red you're Band loved does. by the masses. You love what just happened there? How Triple, I like the new haircut, brother. Thank you. You didn't like the mohawk? Nah, nah, I like that haircut. That's a great haircut. Why didn't you like the mohawk? I've never seen the Mohawk. Hey, should I? Should I'll be I, right back, I'm thinking, Brian. All right. Should I go? stay or go? No, you're you can, staying. You can, you're staying. Don't go. No, I'm, no, I'm going to take a three-minute break. All Where right. Where are you going? To my car. Get a, I'll get a thing. 
There's no there's water here. Or you want me to stay is what you're saying. I don't want you yeah. to go nowhere. I haven't seen you. Okay, I'm not. I wasn't leaving. I said I would take a three. I minutes. haven't I seen let you. Justin sit down for two seconds. You could totally sit down. Sit down and podcast till Joe gets here. You sitting in the room. Fucking, I get in here. All the broads leave. What happened? Felicia left. Christine well, Wazinski. You don't want to get pregnant, bro. Can you fucking believe that shit? My sperm don't even work no more. You know what I'm saying? My work, my sperm <laughs> tapped out. Oh yeah, uh, go over there. Uh, Joey, you were in some Christmas said, movie, it, right? A couple years ago. I'm in all the Christmas movies. <laughs> Did you like I That's what I do. I'm in a Halloween movie this year. You, know you are. Saying? Yeah. You do a lot of movies, I know. But I was at my I mom. I mean, they were playing the Christmas movie. I don't do shit, on. dog. You're the one that works. You have I don't over work. One and two. You're hanging, you're hanging out with Todd fucking Phillips. Positive energy. Do dates. You got more fucking Can movies. Can you smoke in here? No, you've got more than me. What? Is he okay if he smokes cigarettes? Yeah, I just don't do a lot. You uh, know what's crazy, bro? That we're comedians. So everything that comes our way is just a cherry on the fucking Sunday. Try to do stand-up. I'm having fun with stand-up the last few days. You're a funny guy, man. You shouldn't have problems with it. This should come naturally to you. How long we know each other? From Seattle, fucking tell them, dog. Oh, way 19, back in 1995. 1995. Me, you, and Yoshi. Yoshi. We See, discovered Yoshi? Yoshi. I discovered Yoshi. I we told Ron Reed. Ron Reed. We need to get you Yoshi. You gotta bring this here. fucking Japanese kid up. I've been trying. Up. Where is he? Yoshi's in, in New York. York right yeah, show. we were with him the other night. Yeah. We were with him in Orange County on Tuesday. He did a show. He's in New a, York. Extreme. He's doing a show with and Caroline. He's opening for somebody. He's oh, so, Russell Peters. He's doing Russell Peters. Russell and, Peters. Wow. This is Justin Hodak. For people who uh, don't know, just got in the microphone. Justin Good friend Hodak. of mine. Uh, just started doing stand up. Very funny dude. And I just like to bring him around to show him the ropes. And uh, he was honored to uh, gig with Joey. And uh, he said it was a fun gig. He said, You killed. He said, uh, Everybody else? on that show crushed. Edwin San Juan. He's funny. George Perez. San Juan crushed it, I heard. Yeah. What you want? Candy, son? <laughs> candy is really good here. Good candy. How come I you, ate too many milk duds. Are you lazy? Are sit back there? Jump on the hey, microphone. Hey, I'm gonna get the Sit shirts. down right here, baby. If you want. Well, I'm sitting right here, Brian. Where do you want me to move? I, I want you to move over here on my my cock, party. <laughs> jo- hey, uh, Brian, I can't be involved in that right. stuff. You know no. what they say, man. I audition makes... for a- animation. Well, say you you find it rude, and I will stop. Professionally. Uh, yeah. Joey, you uh. Felicia ha- Michaels, still here. Yay! What's what a up, great baby? energy in the room tonight. Here in Pat- Are we allowed to say what city we're in? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why? Well, because there could be crazy people. <laughs> I found out you guys were here in Pasadena. There you go. That's all set. Via Twitter. They know we're at the Ice House. It's called Ice House Chron- Chronicles. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, well, they can't get in here. There's You have to go through like three doors. You just want to be You, don't be you might want to get on that Lexapro again. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to try that. You see what I'm saying? Like that could happen. That could happen. No, it probably won't. We're in Pasadena. No, meaning like, well, meaning like me thinking about that stuff too much. Like get paranoid. Yeah, that could happen. Yeah. That could happen. You be a, you're talking some good sense to me. You do self-talk? Well, you Brody, can... if you ever need someone to talk to, just know I'd only give you the, the positive energy advice. I believe advice. You. Do you have negative energy advice? I've known to have it. There's a couple comedians. But not like towards to me. You wouldn't, do, you wouldn't yeah. do it to me. I'm a Never, dude. I've always thought you were one of the funniest dudes I know. Thank you. So the ladies are all not getting on. Then we we have to have some. Veronica, come, Veronica, get come, on come here. On I want to ask you about pet house pets. Do you know a girl named Sabrina? You don't know any Sabrinas? She's a pet house pet. She's she's supposed to come on the show soon. Really? She's a friend. Felicia, Hi, thank you for being here. Felicia, Felicia Michael, Beauty and the Beast, downloaded on iTunes. Felicia, the last time I saw you, you came to my Cheetah show, which was somewhat of a train wreck, but I uh, always appreciate you coming. It's good to see you. Bye. Bye. Are you doing Red Bull? Yes. What do you want to be oh, wow. up till the break of dawn? The br- br- break of dawn. <laughs> no, that I'll leave that for you. Yeah. yeah. Story How late of my do life. Comedians I do a lot of Red Bull. How late do comedians <laughs> stay up to these days? What's considered like average? I've been trying to get before? up early, dude. What? I meant you that in a dirty me a way. question about no. something. You know what I mean? No, yeah. I, don't I wish I did. Know. What's the problem? Yeah, you know what You're saying? gonna be up till oh. the break of dawn. Oh, boom. Yeah, it was up? easy. But should should I move my cat here? One of my cats. No. And one. leave him here? Or yeah, here, here, here's the deal. I think I this place needs a cat because I'm not used to not being around cats. Well, what are you going to do when you're not here? No, no, but I'm here all the time. They, they love it. 
And, they fucking and my one cat hates my other dog and hates my other cat. And I'm thinking this would be like a cool place for it to like, oh, dude, finally I'm alone. So I can just sit here and throw up on things. But you're going to leave a light on for <laughs> midnight, right? Oh, yeah. I'll leave a light, like some TV. Little some... box, TV. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, they love that shit. Are you a cat person or a dog oh, person? Both. I'm everything dude, you person. know how many cats he has? I'm an everything person, but I know that if you have a cat or two cats... You could leave them alone overnight. They fucking, that's their, their world. Yeah, you know? if you have a dog, you got to have a no, second dog if you're going to leave them overnight. Yeah. They're yeah. just people, man. Yeah. Really? You got to have two if you leave them overnight? Yeah, I just yeah. got a dog. And you know what? I mean, like, when you get a dog and you you start thinking about, like, that Michael Vick dog fight, it just pisses you off because they have personalities, man. Yeah. They have person. They like they they feel, and it's like, oh man, how could you do that to your fucking dogs, man? That's bad. So like, we can't. Le- I can't leave my dog alone at all. Could you do five hours? I is the most I've left her alone is five hours, and she will make me pay. Dogs mm-hmm. have no sense mm-hmm. of time. They have one when they see you leave, they don't know if you're ever. Well, coming it's back called again. object permanence, and right. it's uh, babies don't get that for a little while. So when you you have a baby and you leave, they think you're gone from the world. Right. They're like, fuck. That dude you. who feeds me is never coming back. <laughs> that, and that's why they cry. And dogs never grow out of that. I'm going to tell you how crazy it is with me. My wife is going home for Christmas, and I'm staying to watch the cats. <laughs> you know what, man? Yeah, yeah, too many that you can't even but hire somebody that, because they would I, call somebody. That I, feel you're not- that, I feel that when you get a, a pet, when you first get a pet right there at that pet call or from your uncle, that all this comes into your mind. When you get a pet right there, it has to hit you. It can't hit you when you get the pet that I work 12 hours a day. You have to think about it right there. It's a precious spot. And they're looking at you with those eyes, and you're looking at it, and you're like, I could use you. You know, It's good <laughs> karma in the house. It's great energy to wake up to a fucking pet. But you also got to think about your vacations. Like I told my wife, I go, what if you have a dog, a pit bull, whatever, a French poodle. He's your fucking dog. And you're having Christmas, and all of a sudden on ABC News, they say they have a 5.4 earthquake. How bad are you going to feel about your animal? Maybe the well, the wall fell and he got out by himself. Something. You don't know. You're not fucking there. But How don't bad? people like set arrangements up like the next door neighbor? Hopefully they have a relationship. You know what, bro? No, I, Listen. I, I, who's friends with your neighbors out in L.A? Or what about I am. The dog of canine parks. I'm friends with everybody on my block that has animals. Dude, my next door neighbor is the crazy 17-year-old chick who married the 51-year-old oh, actor. Oh, really? <laughs> I love that chick. Her Twitter is so great. I'm working on getting her on the Get show. On, That's please. my goal. Tell her I'm her biggest fan ever. All right, I'm going to have you and Justin Martindale both. Now, but here, it's here, like here, I couldn't leave my dog. Here's the beauty of it. People. Okay. So fine. You have a neighbor. You, 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 you're going to walk in and be with your dog for 10 minutes and a shot, feed him, walk him, and then put him back. You know that your dog needs attention. And after you have a dog for a year or a cat, you know the times of the day that they come around that they want to fuck with you. You know, when you got to <laughs> fucking be there. Like, we're comedians. So basically, our day is in and out. We go to a meeting. We go to Starbucks. We go to the weed store. We go to work out. But you're in and out. If I'm gone for five days, my cats are going to know. What the fuck is Chubby? Yeah. You know, he's in and out all fucking day. He's smoking pot. He's scratching his balls. He ain't here all day giving me the love I deserve because in that mind, yeah. they deserve love I'm starting all day. to feel guilty, right? But now. he's like, right. oh, fucking doing my dog. <laughs> it's really sad. So, I, yeah, I trust Triple with my animals. I know that Brian's girlfriend would come over and fucking right. take care of my cats. It's not that. I, I trust him. Even, even Brian. Brian goes away, and he knows, but Brian also knows that nobody's going to take care of his animals like he is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, unless like, I have a relationship with a dog, or you know, then you. But like, the more bro, you go away, the more they stay with. You ever have person. a friend that has a dog, and you're like, bro, when are you gonna go away so I can play with your dog? Uh, I met a pit bull about a month ago. That I gave the guy my number. I was like, dog, you don't know me. But you also, you also you ever go out of town? You call me. I'll take care. He's like, come on. He's like 120 pounds. Perfect. Perfect. That forces me to walk around North Hudson Park with the fucking dog. You know, I'll babysit somebody's fucking dog. You leave your animal with me. You know that your dog's going to eat Chinese food. If he smokes weed, he's going to get weed. If he wants a piece of banana bread, I'll give it to him. Would you give your dog acid? I read this story about they gave the dog fucking acid. That's just downright that, cruel. That, uh, That's mean. You know, as fuck. There's animals. Listen, I have a friend, Stephen. I have a friend, I'm right Stephen. Here. I'm right here. Who is one of the Steven. best guys in the world. He's an attorney. Oh, I've no. seen it. This guy has a bong in his house. He hits the bong and he can't suck all the smoke out. He has to leave smoke in the bong for his cat. And his cat walks over and puts his face in the bong for a couple Stop. minutes. Stop. And then puts his head up Dude, and walks away. Dude, film that. Yeah, film that. that no be on a... He's in Houston now. Dude, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. You got a fucking stone. You got a shaggy cat. My cats 
refuse to get high. They walk in the room and they see me filling the bong, and it's like, you're a fat fucking loser. Can dogs get high? Yes. Yeah. Really? What do they do? Just stumble and sit there? They just sit there. And it's the I same thing you do. They, just they kind of shake. They look at through fucking goggles. Yeah. And How do you like, get them stoned? Blow, blow the smoke in their ear. In their ear? ear? I would never yeah. do that. Their yeah, and you hold so their simple. other ear. and you. I try wouldn't to... do it, but people do it. And once they yeah. do it, there's dogs that come when you smoke. A hey, dog. In they, like mass come. Like I, I had a fucking, yes. my friend had a dog that whenever he would chop coke on the razor blade. I had a dog. The dog would go crazy whenever he chopped the coke. And he'd sit there. And the guy would say, look at this fucking dog. He don't even know what it is. But the noise of the razor blade would make the dog go crazy. He wouldn't give that dog coke in front of me. Not because I love the dog, because coke is 100 a gram. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that dog can't suck my dick. You're wasting a line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm with you, man. I had a dog when I was a kid that licked the blow off the CD yeah, case. Yeah, some dogs. just ran around the house for like six days. My <laughs> dad's like, what the, the fuck is wrong with the dog? I was Brody like, Stevens, <laughs> what is it, you dirty Steven, cocksucker? Steven, Brody I Stevens, you, you positive energy. Motherfucker, look at you. <laughs> I know, I've been uh, doing stuff, positive energy. You're taking care of you. Stop with the positive energy. Why? Right? I have to say it. No, I no, have to say it. You have to say nothing. You're not some white dude from Starbucks. You're an old school comedian. As long as you live your life, you pick up papers, you I put your blinkers on. I do that. Veronica. And use hand signals That's as high. well. You're just putting it out you there in the morning, ones. dog. Brody, yes. would you feel more comfortable with your shirt off? Right now? No. Right now. Okay. Take no. your shirt off, Brody. Fuck it. No, I'm fine with Let ever Do we need viewers? No, I'm not in shape. <laughs> maybe, maybe in two months I'll take my shirt off. You do off. all these fucking things with one arm and you won't take your shirt off and show Triple E the pants. I'm out of shape. I've been, I just started working out again. I've been... Uh, not able to work out the last three months. I hear good things about you, Brody. You yeah. know I love you, Brody. I got your back. Fuck all this nonsense and hugs and TV Everybody's shows. Everybody's got right? your back. It's all. I'm about not a us. big hugger. I, I'll do fist pound. I, you don't need to hug me. You just need to know what the fist real deal is. And uh, get stage. I like to have a uh, cockfight. I like to go Chinese fire drill and I'm just go dick that. to dick. <laughs> not into that. When my friends, when I know somebody's a friend, when he wants to go dick to dick. I mean, I could take. A, I could be in like a clubhouse and do that, but I wouldn't do those kind of games. Have you ever really done that? Are you cool, not cool with that? Going dick to dick with me? No. That's disgusting. I... <laughs> but I don't even like watching fucking like porn with some guy's dick in it. I, I, it drives me yeah. crazy. Yeah, so people that like blowjob videos, like like I think Joe likes blowjob videos. I don't What's mind wrong watching with that? a girl sucking a good dick. Why? Because it's mouth and dick. That's Look, like 50-50. I I I but I make, it, I make it think like it's mine. I just watch Kardashian <laughs> suck that. <laughs> That's what you do, right? Bro, the other day I went to a friend of mine's house and he was watching... The Kardashian tape, and I had never seen 